about it. Talk about it. Talk yeah, about man. it. Hey, yeah. Shout out to my guy, Rockstar, in the building, hey, man. Hey, man, you know I'm here. This is my motherfucking nigga right here. Oh, yeah, we just got demonetized, so it's all right. Just oh, keep God. it going right oh, there. Yeah, you know right? You can't matters. curse, man. You can't curse? Yeah, you can like, just pay for that. Leave the first, like, three minutes. That's unimaginable. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, you right. too. Cool. Let but, me remix it. But, yeah, you want to remix it? Yeah, let's do it again, then. All right, start start off. Yeah. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do the intro. <laughs> no, 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 oh, no. Right. no, no. This is my, this is my guy, Rockstar. You know, yes, we, don't, we don't even have a lot of guests. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In this motherfucker, so you okay. gotta be somebody what, special. I you said I oh, couldn't no. cuss. Yeah. We already, you already did it. Oh, it's it's done already now. Fucking. We are, hey, we, we to the races. Up. I ain't even turning up nobody, man. Hey, you know what I found We're out? Trying, trying, we got a line right there, right there that show. You that feel me? got way louder in my ear. Oh, yeah, he turned your shit up. Turned you up. Unbelievable. That's cool right there. But we don't, we don't. I can't hear shit, y'all. You can't hear nothing. Fool, really? Nothing. Here, I got you. I got you. Oh, oh, there it go. There, there it go. go. Oh, I'm lit. I'm lit. I'm lit. Nah, but we don't never have nobody over here like that. You know what I'm saying? Unless they, hey, you I'm know what I mean? Hey, and, and I hey. said, bro, I've been talking to this nigga Rockstar for a long time. Man. You got to be the most cockiest nigga I ever met Damn. in my life. That's how you did it? Bro, you, that's you, how you, you popped you, it you, off. Be, you be popping. How good homies are you guys? Like, this my nigga right here. So why he ain't never write your song? Wow. <laughs> wow. Man. His eyes jumping off. I mean, I'm Unbelievable. You know, hey, you, you, know, know. <laughs> you know what's funny? I'll be doing a lot of top 40 <laughs> pop type hits. He do that though. But anytime that nigga want to pop up, he got all my producers make him beats for the next, you know what I'm talking about? That's automatic. Man, you he just ain't never called niggas. Go ahead. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> on my mama. Niggas is ready to go. Uh, the nigga ain't never asked me. I ain't, never, I ain't never asked him. You know the world star hip hop niggas be like. That's what, that's what you gonna call him? World ah! star hip hop. Oh, that nigga sound ridiculous. Hey, Tio, give me the history. Loving hip hop thing. niggas be lying, man. Oh, you know them loving oh, hip hop niggas be lying oh, like a motherfucker, oh, man. Oh, oh, hey, I'll tell the truth. Check the charts, nigga. You act oh, different. Oh, <laughs> this nigga. You know when nigga ain't never been on the charts. You know when a nigga ain't never been on the charts, he gets straight. Come on, he pop it. Man. He gets straight to pop it. That's Look, your homie. So who, so who you better than, nigga, right now? We call him Virgil, just man. Listen. Oh, who who you right? better than He's right Virgil. now? Listen, you got to ask nigga. Don't, don't make gotta, me call I'm, Young I'm, Bird. I'm, don't make me call that nigga, man. Stop. Don't make me call him nigga right now. Hit maker, hit me right now, nigga. Hit me. maker, hit me. Just stop. Listen, that's why I'm coming back out with hit maker. So, so I'm hit maker slander on the show. Yeah, hit maker's regular. We talking about some, oh! we talking about some oh, other shit. Oh, 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 nah, he that, that nigga straight. Uh, I'm talking oh, about real. I'm trying to make hits. I got his chain snaps. Yeah, bro, yeah, I don't do none of that. See, none of that type of shit don't happen with me. No, fuck that. I got an album coming out with Cuz. I ain't about to ruin my shit. You be quiet, then. You be quiet. Fuck all that. We don't do music. It ain't like that. Nah, it ain't like that. I wouldn't, you know. That's how you describe a nigga. He make it be doing his thing. He ain't talking about what I'm talking about. Oh, he ain't fucking with you. He ain't fucking with you. I'm just saying, you got it's a difference. It's a levels. I make, I write and produce and actually get in the booth and actually do the record, actually produce it. So I'm not the nigga that just delegates like I do it too. Oh, so so that's the difference between me and hitmaker type niggas. So like, you virgin. But that's my nigga though. Yeah. I'm really like a legend. Like yeah. when hitmaker, <laughs> I give you a backstory. Now I'm just gonna tell you what's going on. I'm gonna tell you what's actually yeah, happening. Get him, get him, get I'm him. I'm gonna give you a backstory. Yeah, get him. So I live way in the hills up there somewhere. Yeah. I'm over there. No, I'm my mama, you know what's going on. So look, oh, when you get into the gates. How do you go to hip hop's house? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> hey, this is how crazy the nigga is. Yeah. He was like, bro, I want to do this shit. He was like, y'all want to do this shit in the mansion, man? Like, I don't yeah, want to like, come. Y'all don't want to come where the view is at? I come <laughs> fuck with oh! y'all. I ain't tripping. My thing is, it ain't about, niggas know me for that. I ain't, that's old shit. Fuck the money. I've been, the punchline is, no, but for real. Yeah. I was over there way tucked off where niggas can't get into, got to talk to the guard and they don't let you in. Somehow, Bird got into my community uh -huh. and ended up, no, my, my, this is a real on my kid. Yeah. That, the nigga got to the community, came in, and this what I this when I started respecting him. He came, knocked on my door, and was like, "Look, I'm finna do exactly what the fuck you just did with Atlantic. I'm finna do this, that, and that." I said, "All right, well, shit." He said, "I'm the nigga. Damn near moved next door to make sure he had the ropes locked up." So I respected that because I was smart. He went and did exactly what I did with Atlantic. I went and ran it up. He knows what's going on. So if y'all had a versus right now, who going who? That nigga don't want to play with me. Like that. <laughs> Oh, no, oh, this is the thing. Oh, this is, I, I ain't gonna make this about Bird because this is we could tie this about a lot of niggas. Yeah, just about Bird him. him but 
Hitmaker. Yeah, Hitmaker. 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 is Hitmaker. I don't know, but I was born in 2000. The story I heard. Oh, here we go. I'm just saying. He's 21, y'all. No, that's my nigga though. Like, like burgers with me. No way he's getting his chain snatched. Yeah, but that's a different conversation. My thing is the punchline is. You know what I'm saying? The punchline is he he dope, but I I just do different. I make I make fine chinas and records that never stop. Michael Jackson come in and do. That's me. I'm like that nigga, but I ain't talking about me. Right now. <laughs> y'all niggas tell me what y'all niggas want to do. No, but for real, I'm here all day. So, so you're better. It's a, hey, look. So you're better. <laughs> Dude, I'm, no! It's not a nigga better than me in terms. I'm t- y'all niggas. Is, is it? Is it? Hey, no, look, no, no, but is I've been, it, are I've been we trying to about... get off the charts for years. It's been hard. I've been, been trying to get off. Right. I've been trying to get the fuck off the charts. Look at the charts. Is it an age know, bracket? Mama. Is it an age bracket? We going to or well, are we just thing. overall? It's, it's, it's some dope. It's some dope. It's some of my young niggas that's dope. Like it's some other dope niggas like Name like Jacob ATLJ. Them niggas. There's new niggas. Niggas, they not really in the same, you know, they future and different niggas. I do the Chris Browns. Like I did, I scored 50 shades of gray. Like that's yeah. a different, the, the, you know what I'm saying? It's like the tax bracket switched up. So it ain't just yeah. music for me. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm, I, I do music for, for, for big, like unbelievable. 50 shades of gray, I think it was the number one. So you, so you. So that's would, the type of shit I... You would never do a record with AD at this point. Cause oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> nah, AD hard. I mean, because he said... I mean... Yeah. AD hard. But, but why saying, you ain't give him a record? Hey, this AD my, my nigga on my mind. If AD called me... On my mama, if AD say I'm pulling up, I'm finna get that nigga some unbelievable shit. Would you get a T-Rail one? Yeah, the thing is, <laughs> I know that. I mean, he like, that, he like, he like, he like, hell no, I'm getting No, I'm saying he kind of, no, that's fucked up. <laughs> no, but, no, he kind of look like, um, <laughs> like, Tiger. YG. So I feel like we could probably market that nigga. Oh, market me. Give me some songs. Get that nigga a hit and be off. Yeah. Listen, listen. I need at least eight. I'm marketable. I got one. Hey, what, million? I got no, he need eight records. I need eight records. Yeah. And we can go. Y'all niggas need a collab and just, I'm going to do, I'm with it. I, whatever we going to be in a group? Name us right now. Y'all two niggas? Uh, Renan, uh, uh, the hip hop Renan Snippy. He said hip hop oh, <laughs> Hey, but for real, but fuck all that. This the problem. My, with niggas like AD, which is my nigga. Yeah. My lineup is weird. It's like J-Lo, Fergie, mm-hmm. Usher, Chris Brown. So everybody you know better Post than AD. Malone. I, you know what I mean? I just went five. I just sold another five million with Post Malone. A lot of these producers be producing niggas that be having singles and then you never see them again. Real shit. Y'all niggas come over here with me. You never gonna get off the charts. I'm on the charts right now. I think I got what I got five on the on the top forty right now. Five of them. Why, 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 why did you choose Love and Hip Hop? I do Love and Hip Hop because Mona. Okay, so backstory. I was managed by Chris Light. Mm-hmm. And so Mona was part of Violator. I don't know if y'all Violator remember, but sure, sure. before Mona was Mona Scott, love him, but she was doing Missy, she was doing Busta, she was managing, managing. Diddy, everybody. I, I they, didn't know that. Yeah, that's she was Violator. So Chris Lighty and Mona was partners. So I knew her from back then when I first got on on some music shit. So when she always was asking me like, "Come, come cook, come get on your personality, so unbelievable, just jump on screen." I'm like, "Nah, nah, 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 nah." But then I'm like, "I can't just keep myself away from these people." <laughs> That's unbelievable. I mean, because so, you know, usually people go there to, you know, spark the, put the face to the name. You right. Know what I'm That's what I'm you saying. saying. And, you know, I motherfuckers be wanting to be famous. You feel me? I kind of did that because I seen a couple of my. Ray J was like, come on, man, just hop on. Different things I was rocking with. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to hop on here. But I'm like, they might get confused because they might think Denzel is on Love and Hip Hop. We <laughs> might be able to. Y'all niggas tripping. <laughs> Oh my mama, I ain't even. I ain't even. Why, why we didn't do it? Why, why, why we didn't do the interview up there? He said, "Y'all niggas want to do somewhere." Man, on my mama, if y'all niggas nah, came to the gates, nah, I said, "Bro, gotta come down here with us, man." <laughs> y'all niggas would have came into the gates and went all the way up there and went over there. Y'all yeah. niggas would have been in my house. I've been to the crib. Fuck it with the car. It's indescribable, nigga. We don't be playing no games. Fuck with the car, bro. I can see here from the crib. I live all the way over there. Yeah, unbelievable. Was you and Ray J the only ones that really pop in on Love and Hip Hop? Yeah, I mean, that's your fake. So a lot of people pop. Who? Safari? Cardi B? Um, yeah. Before I'm talking about his. You remember? Nah, there's there's people came off a lot of hip hop. Really got a check. Jocelyn got a check. Stevie J went and got a check. Um, Peter Gray got a check. A one career totally shifted when he got off. For sure, for sure. Because I knew A1 before and it wasn't once he got on Love and Hip Hop, that nigga went way up in terms of a whole different nigga. Fuck it with the guy, bro. Name one A1 song. What you mean? Name one song. He a, he a writer. Fool. Oh, he a writer? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Name one song he wrote. We, this the thing, man. I'm tired of this. Niggas be playing the niggas <laughs> behind the scenes. Niggas be playing the niggas behind the scenes yeah. and we really the niggas. Bro, he on 21. That's the weird part. 
He don't know oh, the producers. The producers and are the, really the niggas. The, so why y'all don't stick y'all chest out really a little bit more? Because that nigga A1 pin why y'all don't stick y'all chest out? A1 because y'all need to work? I, no, I'm going to tell you the truth. This is the problem. If I stick my chest out there too much, now y'all niggas paying attention to me. I'm taking Sean away from that nigga. The punchline <laughs> is you got to sit there. I play chess. So what I do instead of I'm making hits, I'm, I don't mind sitting in the back. I'm getting a check. I'm chilling. I'm posted like a thumbtack. Nigga, I'm not. I'm. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Here, take this. And y'all go on tour, do y'all thing, and I'm going to sit back and collect. I'm not tripping. It's chess. Now, if I want to come outside and do what I do, I always get mistaken for Leonardo DiCaprio anyway. <laughs> so that's a random statement because I just the, I was just I thinking about what I've been doing. I'm, I'm, you nobody I'm just telling man. you the type Bro. of shit I got to go through. I ain't trying to over, you know, it's overbearing. y'all. But listen, this is the punchline. When I go outside, I don't have to be all in the front because when you go to Google, you're like, damn, this nigga did that, 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 that. Like, that's the part. Damn, that check looked like this. My BMI, I just be sitting there looking at that motherfucker like, wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? I get more money than a lot of the artists. They just getting artist royalties. I'm getting publishing, True. True. writers. How much, how much did Mona Scott pay you? To, for what? For for Love and Hip Hop. She wasn't giving me nothing but 7000 an episode. I wasn't nothing. She was only giving me 7000 an episode. I did 14 episodes. He get 500 an episode here. I believe it. <laughs> this is the thing. <laughs> this, the punchline is now she was. I didn't hey, do look, that. I, tried, hey, look, no I was going to do that no, shit. No, 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 no. I was going to do that Who, shit. And she tried to give me 25. Yeah, that's out. Mona, no. With me, I, I showed up in the Rolls Royce to the meeting. It's not. Oh, as you show up in. And the Maybach. Okay, oh. okay, okay. Yeah, it nigga, was, talk good oh. shit. It was bald, yeah. though. It don't matter. Yeah, hey, I gotta take that hey, whole hey. statement back. You still show the party. Yeah, no. I mean, but well, who, who had Hold a rack? On. Which ain't, one of these cameras of is, Ain't none of them always had a rack top Maybach, so you know I showed up in that motherfucker. A rack Maybach is ballistic. It's crazy. I got a Maybach, but I tried to sell a dream. You know what I'm saying? She didn't go for it. Yeah. Unbelievable. 2,500, 15 percent of my whole uh, she had to earnings, triple it up you know what for I'm me. My 15 percent of your whole. Nigga, oh, she anything, tried to get the backdrop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mona's smart. Any, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mona's smart. <laughs> I hey, Mona too. Scott is smart. She about to own Sorella, bro. Shame the fuck on you. <laughs> hey, Mona Scott is smart, bro. I'm telling she you right crazy. now. That's a black woman who came out, went to Viacom, and just had like. What, how many seasons or what? Yeah, Every that time that show come on, on she getting millions. She gets smart or smart. Now, which one of these cameras is getting my angles? I got to figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga really chewing no, gum, though. Really, There's a black nigga yeah. here chewing gum. This my, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga. Usually stripper niggas do that shit. Oh, this nigga. Okay, see, now <laughs> this nigga acting different. <laughs> see, that's why. No, don't spit it out now, no, nigga. This nigga ain't going to strip back to this. You know what I'm saying? This nigga. I'm finna talk about your hair. Nah, nah, nigga, you better go spit back I'm to this, nigga. I'm finna get into some shit with this nigga. Nah. Oh, wait, that's what you want? Oh, just don't try to sex play me, nigga. I think I'm fucked up. Hey, what I mean, up. no. I ain't saying, man. I mean, me niggas be doing that type of shit. It's cool. Not this nigga. Hey, stop playing with me. Hey, look. This nigga different. Hey, what the fuck kind of shit you... I mean, no, let's talk about... I don't even know no stripper niggas. Who you been hanging out with? I don't know who you been hanging out with. I see why he went there. Oh, that nigga been over there with the. Hey, look. Oh, <laughs> all kind of, oh, it's all kind of body that parts. Just oh. about it. I'm talking hey, about Josh, what? Oh. 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 I know where y'all niggas been at. Oh. Oh. Nah, that's not me. Oh, I think he was with him at the oh. Diddy party at Chippendales. You was with him at the Diddy. Hey, he was. Hey, hey, hey. He was there too. He was there too. I was over there. I had my girl. No, you weren't up there. I was over there. Hey, hey, here we go. Here. I was I shouldn't even show up today. That's my nigga though, but I was over there. Y'all niggas. Nah, he was there. Hey, nah, he was there. No, but I wasn't at Chippendale. Nah. Y'all niggas was on some shit. I don't know what's going on in this. I think it's we thought he was hanging with. See, now you ain't gonna get the song nah, with that nigga, man. He gonna be looking at me then. That's my nigga on God yeah. in heaven. No, that's my nigga too, but I don't even know who we talking about because I ain't going to put niggas on the <laughs> You need to go to church, bro. This nigga need to go to church. Can we scroll some church uh, options across the screen? Oh, oh my this God. This nigga man. unbelievable. Bro, anyway. We, we just did the what's it called game, bro. He had me do the celebrity game with him, bro. Oh, yeah. I was fouling everybody. Oh, so everybody yeah, was he's trash. terrible. 
Oh, no, he's terrible. Terrible. So everybody no, you was really trash. was Hey, it's all football with this nigga. <laughs> oh, that's your oh, oh, he was, oh, yeah, he he was bad. exercising. Uh, I, I put together a little celebrity game. It was me. It was Chris Breezy. It was him. It was Lucky Day. It mm-hmm. was London on the track. It was mm-hmm. a bunch of us just cooking. This nigga was absolutely pointless on the court. Unbelievable. Wow. That nigga had a cross I, I think agree. he did. I said, hey, D, this is unbelievable. And I, had like, like, I had like this one nigga moment. called I got- his, unsu- his own sub. What kind of nigga call his own son? <laughs> hey, son. Come get me, bro. I'm like, bro, this Hey, I told, I told, hey, come, I, mean, I told that nigga. I said, listen, bro. This nigga thought then he was looked at the court, you got tired. Who y'all want to take out? Who y'all want to take out on the other side? <laughs> Fuck, were you and Chris Yeah, we on the same team. Yeah, we was all on the same team, though. So we won. do that. Yeah, we, we did our shit. Without you know, this nigga I still went to the league, nigga. I still, I, I still got the trophy, man. The league, man. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I was finna go to the league, but I ain't gonna lie. At first, I was like, this nigga trash, but he started dropping the bucket. I started doing my shit. He started doing your and shit. And on my he mama, nigga, if shit. it wasn't for uh. Oh, let me find out an excuse why I ain't go to the league. Nigga, CB, CB the winner, though. I'm I mean, gonna look, think about I got a shit. question for you. We had a young nigga sitting here by the name of Flacco. That okay. said, Chris Brown album flopped. I don't know why he would say that. You know what I'm saying? I need to know <laughs> your y'all opinion. Y'all niggas been on you know Billboard? Saying? I need to know your y'all opinion. Y'all niggas got to go to my at. On, on, y'all niggas need to go to Billboard.com and see Not us. We don't know Chris Brown. Brown. I'm, I'm trying to tell that you what's going on. Let me employee, But you're the producer. You ain't never lied to nobody. Now, let me tell you. <laughs> the punchline is you got to go to Billboard.com. Why would a nigga say some weird shit like that? I heard academics say that shit this morning, too. But the punchline is like, what are you niggas looking at? We top 10 on every chart right now. Go to Billboard Hot 200, a Billboard R&B chart. We number one. What the fuck is niggas talking about flop? They, nigga, look, they looking the at one, the numbers. So that, do you agree with that? You know what I'm saying? Just numbers, because nigga, uh, the that, first week sales? It's for the climate. Our climate against other niggas climate in the climate that we in, right? Niggas ain't going to motherfucking Target. He didn't even print up one Target copy, nigga. You got, it's all based off streams and digital sales. That's a whole different format. It ain't Mariah Carey when she was selling 18 million records, nigga. That was in the year of our Lord, 1963. I'm talking about, I'm talking about right now, the Breezy album right yeah. now, nigga. Unbelie- if you press play, yeah. I did six on there. They undescribable. You ain't hear the motherfucking Wiz kid. Chris Brown record that's, that's out sure. call me every day nigga yeah. tell Flacco they saying that flopped I don't know how that's even a possibility Look at the camera and you they need to go flopped. I'm telling you today I'm telling you at this moment you have got to head the billboard you yeah. got to because hey, listen, Josh, can we go to billboard Josh? Yeah, Josh, 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 Josh. Josh can we go to billboard go to billboard.com <laughs> if you lie if you lie if you lie we give man, it man we top all, 10 all nigga <laughs> what you talking about? We don't play like that. There's no way I would ever do an album and not be top 10. It's never happened in the whole lifestyle. Nigga, on my mama. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, Nigga, I ain't never. On, on six of those records, did you write, produce? Yeah. You already you know got saying? to what I did. See, like, <laughs> yeah, I did some unbelievable shit. You got to remember, I my nigga. I need to know what you did for Chris. Oh, no, 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 listen, no, no, what no, I'm trying to no, tell you. I need to know. Listen, listen, gonna pop I need it, to see. I'm tired of it. This is the thing. Me and me, me and CB been working since since the X album, yeah. since before that. So me and him did Fine China together, X, Autumn Leaves, all the smashes from back then. He keeps the same squad to make sure that shit is consistent. We never not chart. I see Indigo you, I album, seen you in chart. there a couple times. Now I think you see that's what I'm saying. You know what the hell going on? You think all these chains? I'm I not seen finna you play in there a couple times. <laughs> I'm not I seen you play in there, you know, doing your thing. This is what I'm saying. I'm outside on a consistent. Pull this up, nigga Josh. acting different. This nigga ain't even singing songs. I don't even know what what is he singing. Bobby Valentino. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what's it? Who you think I'm right, playing? Man, come on, Billboard charts. Where you at? Are we man, R&B? Just go to the albums. Hot 200. Let's go. Hot 200 overall. Uh, charts. Or R&B? Just go to charts. Go to, go to overall. Charts. Just fuck all that. Go to charts. Let's go to Hot 200. And let's keep it moving. We don't play like that, bro. Hot 200. Where it's at? You on the wrong chart, man. No, that's the wrong one. There we go. Let's go down. What is, what is we doing? Uh huh. Well, we gotta figure out how to use this motherfucker. Well, Come you on, y'all niggas to... don't even know what there y'all doing. What the hell? Just this. Right there. Okay, click on it. You think I, I just talk? Go down. You think I just talk? Top ten. Let's see if you can see me somewhere. Go down. Let's see. Oh. All right, let's stop. All nigga, right. I don't play. <laughs> nigga, we on the top. I ain't never did an album and not been top ten, nigga. And you, oh, been doing, and you been doing 80 how long? Stop playing with me, bro. And not... you been doing 80 how long? AD, hey, that's my nigga, but this the thing about AD, but is my it more, nigga. Is it more so R&B? This the thing. I or... told you, my lineup is Post Malone. When I met the nigga, oh, Chris AD. Brown. So AD not on Jay... Post Malone level. 
No, this my nigga. That's the helmet. This nigga <laughs> is really like a rap You keep beast. comparing him. I know, and on, the, on some LA shit, AD a beast on the LA. Like, AD will really get in here and get off on you on the he, rap. He knows Freestyle, that. whatever you want to do. That's AD great. is a real certified, actual, like, bitch is really getting off to this nigga records in the strip but, club, in the, in the record in the real club <laughs> on the radio. <laughs> but you ain't talking about how Billboard 100. No, that nigga, is, that nigga definitely has charted before. It's not about that. When? He don't do... You are, this is a different type you. of nigga over here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Terrell, you want With friends like trying to see. Well, no, hey. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. The nigga just, he's not... Um, so you, but just say you're never gonna give him a song. No, that's never what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my mama, that's my nigga. Man, oh my mama. It's hey, done when, I met, too when I met the nigga, bro, he was doing all J Lo album. Yeah, the whole I wasn't shit. even gonna ask the nigga to do no shit with me. Back I'm just then. saying. Why not? Yeah, I was he's doing J Lo producing the album. What was I gonna do? How many people you in there producing with? I mean, probably about. Listen, I, what I do is I yeah. lock out like a Westlake. I take maybe four rooms. I put three producers in here, three producers, in here, and I delegate. Go in. Start the vibe. Create this. Curate this. Go in. Start jumping in booths. Putting certain writers in booths. That's how I've really been rocking for a long time is curating the sound. Then once I start finding the exact vibe, we just take them and just... Uh, we do camps, bro. We don't... We old school. Like, like you got to understand. People keep talking about the writers and the producers. And like, even... I was just watching a Breezy interview and it was like, oh, you know, niggas was having backlash on the nigga because he was talking about... Niggas writing and producing whatever the fuck. Nigga, Michael Jackson, Rod Templeton, Quincy Jones. You will never hear mm -hmm. a Michael Jackson record that wasn't written or produced by somebody in his squad. Mm -hmm. Off the wall. Thriller. It don't matter. Look up the credits. All the this is what you do when you're a professional. You ain't finna sit there, write, dance, sing, do all that, and then have to sit there and come up with all the characters. We do this for a living, and that's it. Well, I do all kinds. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, I, I'm telling but you. Have you ever, but, I mean, you know what I'm about? I'm have you been in Smart like, uh, niggas uh, delegate. Yeah. Rich niggas is delegate. Have you been in a perfect situation your whole career, or have you been, Hell you know, no. dealing with situations kind of like what Hit Boy do? You know what I'm saying? They you been hating on Hit Boy too. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I damn near, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, if Hit Boy, if me and him always clash, that's my nigga though. But at the same time, they been hating on niggas like us for a long time. Niggas that actually been behind the scenes and really pushing buttons. Niggas been telling me no since I got in that motherfucker. When Chris Lighty died, I'm gonna tell you a story. Chris Lighty put me. I came in when Chris Lighty put me on. I had a nigga for the first time in my life as a cocky nigga and a nigga that really do this shit <laughs> that was really, because it ain't about cocky. I'm the same way as Ye and Diddy and everybody else. We just believe in ourselves. Nigga, you don't believe in you and you mad that I believe in me. Weird shit. The punchline <laughs> is, at the end of the day, I had somebody, Chris was like, yo, we was walking in the meetings. Chris like, that's Rockstar. Let, yeah, he's the nigga. That's what he do. He's next up. Talk your shit, Rock. I had a nigga behind me on that time. You know what I'm saying? For the first time. So when he died, all them buster ass, weak ass, trash ass A and R's that was in the <laughs> building, that was in the building on some fuck shit, was just came out the. Oh man, well the lighty died. What you gonna do now? She mean what I'm finna do? Go viral, nigga. What did you think I was finna do? I mean, I went straight to the charts. I didn't even want to talk to them niggas. Man, all my mama. This the type of shit I've been going through all my career. It's like niggas been trying to throw roadblocks. Nobody wants to see the nigga that says he's gonna win win. But have they threw the roadblock? Nobody wants to see Have they threw the roadblock and put you in a fucked up? Contract, you nigga know what I'm saying? They try me, to keep you. The only people that ever put me in a fucked up contract was Primary Wave. They're trash. If you're a publisher, they're, they're atrocious. Primary <laughs> Wave is the worst company across the board. I don't fuck with Primary Wave. They know. Primary Wave is a publishing company. They kept me in a contract for nine plus years and wouldn't let me out. I was going through terms for their trash. So I've been in a situation publishing wise where I couldn't get out. You know what I'm saying? Go get the rest of my. And that's M's. even more fucked up. That's, that's even fucked more fucked up. up. That's what I'm the telling you. So up. what I'm that's telling you is, that's what I'm telling you. But I'm, I've been in that. I've been in that type of shit because I, I signed because Lighty had did a deal with Prime Wave, so he was like, just sign with them. I'm gonna get you out this shit in six months. Don't worry, we don't do this. And that. Well, got the check. That nigga died. I ended up stuck for nine years. Damn. Learning, learning curve for me. But at the end of the day, you gotta understand. I really. I was really putting in work, bro, and I and, and it took me nine years to get out my contract. That's unbelievable, bro. I had to finally get out of it. That's they they made a law just for all y'all writers and producers. They got a law, a clause that if you're really a resident of California, after seven years, they can't hold you in no contract. Ooh, Ooh. that's some game. Talk about it. So make Ooh. sure that if Any they contract? if they telling you you stuck, you not. 
Because at the end of the hey, day, Adam, you can take leaving. that contract. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here for a year. He is sick. Hey, right, look. I got I'm six telling more you, fucking years. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> he been a slave, me. You, <laughs> see, real guy, he got eight more I got years. Six more years. I have six. I have six. <laughs> no, but for real, I'm telling you some real game. If they got you locked up in a contract and you're a California resident, uh, at the end of the day, you can get out the contract after seven years, regardless of the situation. It's a law, Damn. just what it is. Damn, because other, it's, under the sl- it's under the Slave Act. Yeah, because it's slavery after that. Have yeah, you ever so, had any uh, producer yeah. beef where you wanted to get out with a nigga? Oh, yeah, for sure. Cool. Niggas, I'm really, psh, hey, look. This the thing <laughs> about me. This the thing nah, about nah, me. Give the name. Hey, you see nah, them? Them my niggas he roll with, man. man who y'all niggas no fight, nigga, in the studio? That's some real ones, man. man. My, my mama. Where y'all hey, niggas look, fight? We is not playing no games with a half a nigga. I'm trying to tell you. I done, psh, man. Hey, look. I done been in situations with That's niggas, That's why I fucking could. I said, oh, yeah, he one of us, I do not be playing. This the thing. How do you get in producer beats when y'all playing pianos and producers? What the niggas don't come in there? Hey, nigga, yeah. nigga, that sound, fuck nigga. It. nigga, I don't fuck with that sound. <laughs> oh, this nigga sick in the head. Look nigga at this nigga. There, like, hey, man, you mean that you don't fuck with that sound, nigga? That piano bullshit. That 808 nah, nigga. weak as fuck. Blood, nigga, I don't like your 808. Nah, nigga, hey, nigga, nigga, nigga hate no, nigga, hate no sound. It ain't even about that. You put my voice too loud, motherfucker. Hey, it ain't nothing about that. What it's about is that the producers, if you look at the history of like just producers, Timberland, he's a producer. Right, Pharrell, he's a producer. Right, all the niggas that really are Kanye, he's a producer. Travis Scott, he's a producer. We're producers. Which one of them niggas is haters? <laughs> Who them niggas? Yeah, th- nah, none of them niggas. This, this is the thing. <laughs> Love. This is none of them niggas. I ain't got no. I, I, I rock with Kanye just in a lab with him. We was cooking on a dime. He's dope. Uh, Timberland, me and him was locked in. He brought me over to Jungle City when we was working with Beyonce. I rock great, with Timberland. Man. That's my nigga. I love he's a to beast. hear that. You know what? Because the narrative about Timberland is y'all, y'all don't fuck with Timberland. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Nah, 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 yeah, nah, because nah, he nah, came nah, up under Teddy Riley. Yeah. Which, it's my. It's also one of my mentors. I rock with Teddy. Great. Shout out That's to Teddy. Great. I came up under legends. I didn't come up under little niggas. That be the difference between these niggas. These niggas be showing up with a keyboard like boop 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 boop. <laughs> I don't got time for niggas. I came up under legends, nigga. You call Teddy Riley, ask him what's up with Rockstar. Oh, that's my. Bro. Oh, that's my little bro. You call Timberland, you ask different niggas what's up with Rockstar. They are gonna be like, there was a long period of time that we worked, that we was rocking, that we was in situations, or they was in a situation where they felt like I was gonna get the record over them. I don't be playing with niggas. I'm not no little. I show up with the man on my mind. So, so, so. <laughs> I keep it about. I keep it about. Keep it about. Your cocky did ever get you into some shit where you were like, damn, maybe I should have not said that shit. Hell like that. yeah, nigga. You know, at the end of the day, <laughs> shit, bro. Give us a story. Hey, I, I, that that happened to me a few times. Yeah, but who almost? Who doing your interviews? That, that, that don't you be got. happening. The whooping ass. That's out. Cause we, cause you can't. Unless I'm over there in Nova Scotia somewhere where I don't. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look. If you find a way. We will be back. Oh, hey, look, we finna be back shortly, nigga. But I, I really be, fa- I'm not really. If a nigga beat me up, like I'm really gonna shake his hand. Like you amazing at this. My thing <laughs> is, it's not about that. I'm really from the book. Bull- hey, AD gonna tell you, we not really. It's really some real shit going on. But fuck all that. I'm talking about in terms of just like business. I've been in a situation with the president of. Okay, so. I signed before I was like popping on the writing and the, uh, and the producing shit. I still needed to get a bag, so I went and found this girl named Claire Demaris, Jude Demaris, right? Which if you've seen the show Star, she's the show, mm-hmm. uh, she's star off the show Star. So the thing was back then she had just came from Detroit. I was like, nigga, let me, I gotta figure this 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 motherfucking placements ain't working. I took her, packaged her, took her to L.A. Reid. L.A. Reid signed her on the spot. Gave me a check. Boom, here's 750000 Boom, that was a check. I'm like, oh, God, what the? Oh, I'm here. Right? So I realized, okay, there's a way to take artists, package them, flip them, put it. The, that was one of my first situations. I was working with Naya Rivera, rest in peace, and different people. I was already, you know, we was rocking. But Claire was a situation. So I, boom, I went, flipped her. I had her. I had her at, uh, at, at Epic. So when I was at Epic, when I got to the building, they was like, it was a lot of niggas there. It was Malik, Scooter's partner. It was this nigga, that nigga. It was a lot of executives at Epic that was just a rs at the time. And niggas was always like, oh, Rockstar, he's got that. And I'm like, whatever. <laughs> nigga, I make the hit, so be quiet. So then I showed up, boom. LA was like, this nigga making a hit. Okay, da da da. But see, I done fucked around and ruffled a few feathers in studio sessions. Like, I don't want her working with no fucking body but me. They done sent in producers. Nah, I'm, I don't want to fuck with them. Sent him, nah, every, nah. Nobody's working on this but me. I was trying to keep it to myself. And when you do shit like that, instead of being like, okay, yeah, bring some in, throw some producers in, do da da. They, they, they feel like that you're overbearing and you're doing too much. And that shit right there will block your blessings. 
So I had to learn after a few situations that collaborations is cool. That people, you know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, she's under contract. What I'm going to do? What you going to do? Run off with her? So I had to understand. That was being young. I was 22, 23, selling artists. Like, you know what I'm saying? So there was a lot of situations that probably ruffled people's feathers the wrong way when I was young before I was making hits. They used to always tell me, nigga, like, how you this cocky, nigga? Where's your hits at? I used to be like, nigga, tuh, pfft, I ain't really had an answer at that point in time. <laughs> but now, I ain't gonna lie, I used to be telling niggas, my intrinsic value is unbelievable. Because, nigga, I press play right now, it was beast. I'm like a hit or what? I remember one time I got into it with Sean Garrett in the middle of Def Jam, and Sean Garrett got Oh, 60. he's dumb cocky. Oh my God! But oh my that's God. my nigga though. But that nigga got dumb cock. That nigga real, got like real. that yeah, nigga really like that? got like seventy. Oh, he's unbelievable. Yeah, what? But that, I mean, for hey, a nigga like he, me, he can pop it. Though. For a nigga like me, Chris it don't Brown matter because I get it. Well, yeah. he got like 60, 70, number one. So, so, so for me, when I was in the studio, I'm, I mean, when I was in Def Jam, I'm in there with Karen Kwok. She was running Def Jam at the time. Boo was in there at the time. Shout my nigga Boo. Yeah, that's what that nigga just. Took over Columbia, did some shit like that. That's my nigga's Akon brother. So I was in Def Jam in the middle of Def Jam at the time, and me and Sean Gar I'm, uh me and uh, Karen Kwok, which was the president, my girl. We just link up, just chill, smoke, just that. So I came to the office one day. Boo was there. We had just finished the X album. So I was walking around playing fine China, telling niggas that shit was the worst shit that ever happened. Because at the time, <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? So so I was sitting there, boom. So Sean Garrett come walking in like. Like, you know, he looking around at niggas. And, and so him and Boo get into an argument. It wasn't even me. Him and Boo get into an argument like, hey, nigga, you did that CB album. That shit cool, but I'll play a record right now. You should have put me on. I'll play a record right now that's trash, whatever you got. Boo, like, put some money on the floor. <laughs> so niggas start putting money on the floor. We done put 10000 on the floor in the middle of Def Jam. It's unbelievable. Niggas is on the floor with money on the floor. We called every single, and this is, this is what the this is what the game is missing right now. But we get back to that. This is this is the type of camaraderie niggas need in offices. It's real boring when you walk in a building right now. It's trash. But at the time, Karen and like people who you know that's Rihanna and that's that's motherfuckers who really came up tapped in, tapped in, tapped like, 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 in like, oh, to the frequency that's dope. Yeah, for but the Karen, genuine side of music, like the yeah, genuine side the of music, the genuine, the original motherfuckers who created real motherfucking legends. So so right now niggas just and ours because you applied. But the punchline <laughs> is for real, it's scary. But the punchline is, um, we was in that motherfucker. So Karen, da da da. He come in, we put it down. He like, all right, press play. We get all the interns, the NRs, we have them all come in. Sit down. Hey, we gonna judge this. We gonna go one by one. They played the record back to back. Went around the Wait, room. Was it Fine China? It wasn't Fine That was that was that would have happened hands down. It would have been a, a, a unanimous decision. But no, it was a uh, new flame. Mm. Right. So it was New Flame and Sean Garrett had played something that he had did, and uh, like in, in his personal catalog. But it was still dope. It wasn't like trash, but it New Flame was X album that was legendary. We was in there doing some nigga. Me and it was unbelievable. Me and Bert Simmons was every day going that back nigga and forth. That nigga being cold too. That's what I'm saying. And we was in a rivalry every day, room to room to room. So, but but I was, what you was about to say? No, go ahead. Oh, man. I was saying that nigga. <laughs> so basically, we was in that motherfucker. Had the money on the floor. Boo played. We asked everybody. Everybody. Well, not everybody, but probably ninety percent of people picked New Flame. So then that nigga got mad. Well, really, he asked me, like, hey, Rockstar, bitch, what, what you think? Da, da. I'm like, honestly, new flame. So the nigga got mad and, you know what I mean? They want to get you know out with you. No, no, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm into. So the nigga was like, <laughs> so the nigga was like, this, that, and the third. I'm not the, no, I'm just saying, I'm not like that. I'm not, but I'm not finna be letting niggas play with me. Like, I'm not, we not gonna press nobody. We not into all that. That's weird. We just LA niggas. We not letting niggas, we grew up not letting niggas play with me in no way, shape, or form. Yeah, the North That's Dakota out. motherfuckers be Yeah, them North, <laughs> North Dakota. Yeah. yeah, let them niggas over there. Hey, but look, that shit over here. So we That's spit how, on me is crazy. Yo, look, the, but no, oh, it's crazy. Yeah, nigga spit on in North Dakota, in Utah, nigga, a Mormon might really come do some shit. <laughs> but the punchline is, the nigga got mad, and then I had to flex up and you know call you know call nigga out for a fade. He started talking about Lambos. So when but did that's you, my uh, nigga though. <laughs> but that's your homie though. Work with mustard before so you when say did you? Something. Yeah, so I know mustard. You, I've been knowing mustard for a long ass time. Oh, okay. I know mustard before that nigga was on. Yeah, see, I got a story with mustard too. All these niggas I know because I was on while niggas was on the come up. 
So, like, on some real shit, I knew Mustard when that nigga, it was just me and Mustard, and that nigga would be sitting there like, bro, like, I'm just doing, like, I'm just doing this shit. I'm trying to put this shit together. I'm like, nigga, keep going, cook. That shit just went through the roof. But I was, like, at a time, I was in a different, I, he wasn't even where I was at yet. Then that nigga just skyrocketed after a, uh, after a few joints. And he, he, he just took over that whole sound, that L.A. West Coast sound. Yeah. Mustard, shout out to Mustard. He dope. But back when he was just getting on, I was right there. And I was, you know. I was going to ask you, too. To you still? Me. You still on the board of Atlantic? Board? Nah, I did a I did a label, a three act label deal at Atlantic. Craig Calman, the smartest thing he ever did, came in, cut me a <laughs> cut it, came in and cut me a check that was undescribable. We, we got a couple of homies because I was like, I knew you did your producing. We had a couple of homies where nigga, you pressed the button for them to get signed. A oh, couple yeah, of homies, yeah, nigga. Yeah, I, was yeah, like, oh, I was like, I was like, the homie, the homie really looking out. I ain't gonna say no nah, names. Nah, nah, yo, but my bro, mom. it's some real what shit. What I was I behind do, the what scenes. What I gotta do to get signed right now, <laughs> bro? But nigga, a couple change of, your outfit. No, but for real, no, no. But a couple of homies. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He was waiting on that one. No, 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 he know, hey, look, I'm about to tell them, do, 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 and get you this, this, this. I'm like, ooh, this nigga rock cold, man. You should have never said, my going to be in this DM like, hey, bro, give me a deal. <laughs> no, I mean, hey. it's true, though. A lot of us got power because if you're a smart executive, you keep producers around you that are go-tos. You know what I'm saying? Because why would you be an executive and your job is to make hits and you don't got producers in your back pocket? Jimmy Iovine was the smartest executive. It's why he had Dre. It's why he had Diddy. It's why he had all these niggas that... Are the Pharrell? All of them were signed up. Um, um, that nigga at the same time. So if you got that nigga, this nigga, that Polo to Don, everybody and their grandma, it's like, dude, like that's what you do. You keep the producers by you. The new A and Rs, they don't even. They calling the wrong niggas. They yeah, talking to well, each other. Because I know there's like this thing where like they always say that that the new generation never gives credit to the producers, the writers. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, but what do you think is the reason for that? I don't know. I think if I wasn't on shit, don't shake without that though. I know, I know, no, no, no. I feel like, I feel like, they accept the award or no? Oh, you saying the artists don't give us us credit? But I think is Because the artists don't give us credit. Yeah, no, no. But what I'm saying is like, I think other producers, there's this thing where like, producers always take smaller producer shit and then they give it to a bigger artist and then it's like, oh, well, I didn't get my credit. Yeah, yeah, oh, he's getting sure. all the credit. Yeah, well, that happens that? too all but day. But, well, that? but you know that's what that never... <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> niggas ain't <laughs> running around. Niggas ain't running around talking about I did none of that. If it was a placement, you was attached to that situation if you was anywhere near. I'm yeah. the nigga that grabs niggas and throws them in the room that wasn't even in the room to start their careers. Like, niggas' careers have been built off of me inviting them to a session. Like, I could easily just just that not pick up the phone too. and call niggas. But I'm not that nigga. I'm like, what, hey, bro, come on. If I really think you dope, I'm going to give you a, a shot. I'm going to throw an alley-oop off the backboard and you could just go ahead and crash the, crash the glass. It that's is. what I'm into. That's what, Mark Pitts, that's what Mark Pitts did for me. It's one, it's one executive, the president of RCA, that looked out for me coming up, and that's the reason why I crossed over into being an actual multi-platinum Grammy-nominated producer was was when Mark Pitts came in and was like, Rockstar, all right. Niggas was telling Mark, man, I don't fucking like that. Man, he's kind he did it. Mark, like, oh, literally, one day, I'm going to tell you, I, I shouldn't even go down Nigga, that story. Talk, speak no, on it. Talk about I, there was a story that was unbelievable. Speak on but it. But the punchline is, every story because, no, it's me. unimaginable. <laughs> but yeah. look, but Mark, the punchline is Mark sat there and was like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it was like, yo, fuck what y'all talking about, rock, go in the room. He put me in Glenwood, in the studio, in the studio C, and was like, bro, just cook. And when I tell you everybody in that studio on the other side did not want to fuck with me or did not like, nigga, the artist came into the room, heard what I did, and was like, hey, load it up. From there, I did the whole project. That's what I'm into. Mm. I show and prove. So Mark Pitts gave me the chance. When niggas didn't want to give me the chance, and I took that and went and went through the fucking roof. Fuck it with the car. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. So when did you find time to fall in love? Oh, when Ooh. I find time to fall in love, I've been I've been on some love shit my whole life. So you I've always been like locked in with a girl because it keeps me focused. You see how he look? That's when he like got most that, niggas. I, when he got that, that, when just, he got that grumpy no, smile, no, I'm gonna tell you. you I'm gonna tell you. He want to see if you was tripping or not. off the curveball. Yeah. My yeah. thing is, my <laughs> thing is, I got curveballs. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I know what's going on. So oh, you, just had a, you just had a baby too, right? Yeah, I just had a baby. Congratulations! Congratulations! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's single. He just had a baby, y'all. This nigga sick in here. 
This is why I don't want to know. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he ain't just, single. I just, yeah. just seen a nigga at Diddy party. Yeah, right. That nigga said Me Michael Jackson, Chris Brown. Bitches probably like, ah. <laughs> Look at this nigga. He's sick. I'm not single at all. Hey, hey. You know what's nuts about it? I am unbelievably not single. I ain't this single either. I'm dating his mama. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, it's nigga, a hard thing. I love you. You see, that is that crazy. Is hilarious. <laughs> it's, yo, no, you can't. You can't. Nigga say, oh like, nigga say crazy shit. Yo, that was it was a nigga up here that said he want to rape this nigga. Yeah, what? That's what? Fuck? Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's out, bro. Yeah, that he wasn't here, though. I w- oh, no. If I was here, that's he out. wasn't here, though, no, bro. Nigga, oh, get down. Nigga, <laughs> fuck all this podcast shit. That's too much. I told niggas yesterday, I said, if I ever, if I ever felt like I had to put hands on somebody here, I just won't do this shit no more. Yeah, it's over. I'm out. That's too I'm much. Because it's what's going on. That hey. nigga did some C-sex played you. I gotta send that nigga an email. I gotta <laughs> send that nigga an email. Nigga be saying some wild well, shit, mama, man. That's too much. Especially yeah. Flacco. Flacco be here. He on the thin line and getting his ass whooped. Yeah, I don't even know every who day. that is. Who's that? Uh, yeah, some ugly motherfucker. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, tell him big booty, big yeah. booty. <laughs> that nigga a big booty black nigga, man. What the fuck? <laughs> See, this is what I mean by who you been hanging with. Oh, 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 no, nah, you was just chewing the gum next to this nigga. This nigga just talking about. This nigga chewing the gum next to this nigga trying to be oh, cute next God. to this nigga. Look. <laughs> No, I, ain't no saying, I ain't calling no big. I ain't no saying no niggas got no big boot. Like That's him. what the <laughs> fuck. Why ain't you in that gun? Oh, no, no, I got some pause. The yeah. Fuck chewing some gun. I'm trying to be a fresh nigga. Yeah, yeah it's fresh, okay. That you was see, unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? Wow, that nigga out of pocket. But listen, when I'm screaming, hey, I'm about to leave, man. I'm yeah, trying to this nigga things. acting different. <laughs> I think I can do it. That nigga look like a pixel. You know, like a pixel character. Uh, you know, like when a nigga pixelated. I was like, he's trying to be up there. 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 No. <laughs> all right, come on, fuck all that for real, man. Y'all tripping? Let's yeah. get back to what's going on. So, love. I'm gonna answer your question. So, so the love shit. This the punchline for me. A lot of niggas be running through bitches on a 24 hour basis. I used to do that. I'm over it. Thank God. When the punch, what year was that? In the year of our Lord. Uh, 1963. 1960. <laughs> oh, so you was Kaki Mariah. No, I'm telling nah, you, was, you was Kaki Mariah. No, I'm just saying, I was going viral at one point in my life. Hey, and the thing up, about hey, it, it is. Hey, keep it up, you ever catch the clap? Hell, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> you never no. got it twice. You got it twice. <laughs> nigga, you got the clap? Oh, you yeah, that nigga. Same that's because that bitch. nigga is over there off of that street Same and that bitch. street. Yeah. When you get past them streets, yeah. it, them diseases get different. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, on, when, you go to, when you get on any South Central freeway, the, the motherfucking yeah. diseases start to get outstanding. That shit get different. Yeah. I, I, I done had to dodge that shit my whole life. I didn't come. Never mind. I ain't. I know. What you got? What you got? Nah, hell no. Nah, he caught some shit. I didn't cause him. Nah, yeah. I didn't have the simple yeah. shit. Like what? I don't even remember. Nah, you don't remember. <laughs> nah, but for real. That nigga said I had some simple, simple shit. shit. He said nah, I didn't like, remember. What the I don't fuck know, is some simple shit? I don't know. know like a cold. That nigga had some shit. That nigga said I had some simple shit. Well, what the fuck I have, nigga? I caught a cold and some other shit. I don't even remember. The punchline is, though, nigga, back to what we were saying. So, love. I'm a nigga that likes to be with a chick because I like to stay focused. Okay. I do tech. I do TV. I do film. I, I write. I'm I'm nonstop. I'm scoring. You know what I'm saying? I'm working with Disney. I'm working with this. I'm, the, I'm working with a lot of different. So I can't just be up spending all my energy on grabbing new bitches every five seconds. So how does your girl help you? Because she, <laughs> what you mean? How's my like throughout the day? That was it. I'm just saying, like this with nigga the AD out of pocket. I'm gonna tell you, this the thing, niggas, 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 niggas don't be having girls that are built. Niggas don't be having girls that are are tailored to them. Like my okay. girl understands what my program is, okay. so she understands. Okay, cool. I'm gonna make sure this and the, and the shit she can't do. See, I, I I fucked around and got with a boss. Like me and my girl, we got a baby. Like, she a boss. Well, she's a boss. She up 14, 15 million. I'm not talking to no chick that's having a regular conversation. My girl never got a loan and built a business that she could exit at any time. Shit, I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a girl that's just over there. Like all you got to do is all you got to offer a nigga is. Uh, uh, some head. I ain't got time for all that. <laughs> I need a chick that I can tag team with. What's the exit strategy? Can we build something up? Exit, I'm on some, you understand what I'm saying? That's the punchline. Look at power couples. They motherfucking pockets. It's a, I could fall back. He I, gotta fall, be, he a power I done couple. fell back on some of these bad bitches with no money <laughs> and just fell on the floor. Built outside. This girl That's changed out. his life. My homie would still be getting syphilis on fig if it wasn't for her. Oh, Shout out to the homegirl Heather, fact. man. You know what I'm saying? 
on my mama though. Child, I already know what's going on. Cause you uh, stop nah, acting different, nah, nigga. Nah, oh my nah, mama, nah, you nah, really, nah, you nah, really nah, super in love. Nah, and you nah, over nigga, there, nigga, you nigga, nigga, you in love, nigga. But you really in love. You in love too, nigga. Oh my mama, I'm saying you finna go get married now with that fucking church shirt on. This nigga got a church shirt on, nigga. Let me see, take that jacket off. They got a church shirt. You got a Dodgers jacket with no Dodgers logo. But look at this, the punchline. Yeah, bro, he didn't make the handicap <laughs> dude. <laughs> nigga didn't even, hey, nigga didn't even check the back of my yeah, jacket. I, I don't know. <laughs> no, it ain't yeah, no yeah, yeah, on the back of that motherfucker. All right, <laughs> <laughs> but yo, no, hey, listen, on some real shit, our baby mamas was in the hospital at the same time in the same room. Shit, was about to have birth. Was about to get ill? About to have birth. Like, I'm about to have the no, best childbirth all time. She said she huh? seen the nigga in there. He was finna cry in the way room. Yo, this nigga be on some different shit. Hey, hey, yeah, on the 24 hour basis. You want you to cry? Yo, this he nigga is hard. He said the nigga finna cry that motherfucker, man. If a nigga don't get emotional with the baby being born, you a serial killer. The baby was finna be born. No, she was not. She was only like seven months. This is a different nigga right here. But when the baby came out, I, I'm always gonna shed a tear on my. Oh, God you shed a tear. You shed a tear. I just brought life into the world, nigga. My kid, cute as hell. I'm, I'm really one That's of the best looking. That's your first kid. My second. Your second kid. Yeah, okay. my, my oldest son is six. Oh, and you got another baby seven. mama. Yeah, my mom is mom. <laughs> okay. You, you got a different nigga, though. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, bro, Any baby you mama drama? Hey, hey, How many baby mamas you got? I got two. Yo, my mama, nigga. Stop yeah. it. Yo, you <laughs> see, I got two, too. Shit, it's too much life. That is, the nigga asked about his baby mama, nigga on. started sweating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, which one you love more? <laughs> huh? I said, which one you love more? The one I'm with. What you talking about? Damn. I mean, you know what I'm talking about? I appreciate the other one for having my baby, but that's yeah. not my girl. That's She belonged to whoever she is in love with. <laughs> who does she belong to? <laughs> 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 it's a nigga that I will not be naming because who cares? I'm talking about a whole different. Listen, the punchline is. <laughs> I look. Yeah, bro, you talking like a ghetto priest. You want to go viral? Hey. Hey, listen, I don't Bobby, mind. Bobby, listen, Bobby, no. Bobby, listen, my thing is. is my hey, bro, thing he is, broke. He broke. Huh? I don't know. My <laughs> thing is, I don't be listen. I don't be. I don't be counting. Bro, bro, just tell me he ex, My ex life is so her life. I don't care. I, I've been oh around the nigga. God. What's happening? You straight? Da da da. I know the nigga. You I know the nigga money. before. Huh? You loan some money? Stop acting different. Nah, <laughs> I don't fuck with that. I don't give a fuck what he got going on. My thing is, that's her life. Let her do it. As long me? as he's straight around my kid, I'm straight. Okay. okay. That's yeah, all I'm I'll, I'll, I'll be all in my ex. Niggas be doing too much trying to be all in their ex shit. Like, fuck. Nah, I don't. If, if, if fuck that's your that. girl, have her, please. Fuck it. Well, look, she ever tell you, like, man, get the fuck off hip hop. Fucking loving hip hop. You making this look bad. Ooh, never. never. Why would she say that? I'm the best looking nigga on TV. <laughs> How can I make somebody look bad? It's unbelievable. <laughs> hey, listen, which one of these cameras is looking at me. That's they all looking at out. you, dog. Oh, you right, sweat, well, nigga. Nigga, I know. Take that damn How can you shirt off, nigga? How can you Hell see shit. anything with the midnight shades? Take the damn shirt off, nigga. Got off, nigga. I can see. Hey, my <laughs> thing is, I'm nigga, your jacket too little on the left side, nigga. You acting different. No, is that? I just nigga sick. I can see this nigga whole cup leak on this motherfucker. Oh my god. Hey, okay, I see you fighting back. Nah, nah, no, it's okay. Back. It's, no, no. Fix that motherfucker. No, fix it, no. we, fix it. We gonna get fix to it, it. Fix it. No, fix it, fix it. Dude, uh, we gonna get to it. No, fix it real quick. No, it's all good. What you talking this about? One, this one, this There's one. There's some shit going on? Oh, yeah. Man, stop acting that shit. Nigga ain't even on this side. Fix the sleeve. Man, on my mama. This nigga acting different. No, I be looking out for my homie. No, my mama, no. You need to clean your shades. Because between the darkness and the smudges, I don't even know how you looking at me. This nigga looking that way. This nigga. Got the Let Stevie Wonder vibes. It smudged oh, out. I see you helping me. Oh, my mama, that's what I'm saying. You know who you look like? You helping me. from Friday. And you look like oh. Tank. Oh, Tank. <laughs> <laughs> Get right. this nigga tank up out of here, nigga. <laughs> you got that before, huh? Nah, That's why you laughing, nah, nigga. nigga. Oh my god, nah, Batman Cable check out a kid. <laughs> Who? Who? Oh, he said Batman <laughs> Cable. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga just said. He said I can't even understand this nigga. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. And he said fuck? that nigga Cable he was. This nigga. <laughs> this nigga taking up both y'all seats. <laughs> this nigga over here taking up both y'all seats. That nigga that nigga with jacket. Get him out of here, that nigga motherfucker. Go like this. Are yeah, you still like with, yeah, yeah. Hey, this nigga, hey, you remember in 1997 when we used nope. to wear the jackets with the teams? And they got the hat with the teams on his skin. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't fuck with this nigga. This my nigga, though. Stop dragging people into you. You a bad influence. Man, tell people about your done. store, man. 
Yeah, the story is, I mean, which part? Your store. Oh, my store. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I got a store. So, if you went to Topanga Mall or Century City Mall, we got SGH. Yes, sir. SGH Apparel, uh, female workout clothing line. I'm sweating fucking with these niggas. I'm tired. And when you really get on here with some niggas you fuck with, that's Come the on. plot. All day. But yeah. listen, but, but SGH Apparel, Topanga Mall, going to Topanga Mall, going Century City Mall. Um, it's for all the bad chicks, uh, female clothes. So, what's better, SGH or Sorella? What is Sorella? Oh, what's Sorella? It Pop your shit, Virgil. It ain't Pop your shit, Virgil. What is it? Sorella? That's his story. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Okay, <laughs> okay. We gonna let that I slide, like motherfucker. <laughs> we gonna let that slide. No, we I gonna let that, that slide. Oh, my that's some bullshit, nigga. Yeah, we gonna Having let that slide. Having a store and being able to run a store. And he, that, really, he really run a shit, too, though. That's like, dope, real shit, though. I fuck with that. Man, oh, my fuck mother. you, nigga. Oh, my mother, <laughs> nigga. I'm not trying to give you some credit. Uh, I could have nah. said. <laughs> yeah. I could have fucked with you, nigga. Bro, he don't run shit. Had to run that motherfucker. Yeah, oh, my, my. yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah you know, okay. Well, I'll shout know. out to Sorrell. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, he, was back, it. he was back there bossing people around. He liked the shit. He was smiling. I was like, hey, Taylor, didn't let this nigga like hey, that. Hey, I said, run the bathroom, man. He just, he just yelling at them. Have my fucking boxers and all the shit over here. Yeah. Smiling at me. I said, damn, it's hard over I'm there. I'm a good hey. boss. I, I, my, my employees come back. They be like. They love me. I'm just here. Take a bonus. Take a trip to Hawaii. I'm doing too much. <laughs> that was too much. You paying for trips? Hell, Hell no. I no. ain't paying for no motherfucking <laughs> trip. Y'all niggas, niggas crazy. Shit. I ain't paying for no damn trips. Nigga. Hell no. But yeah, you know, at the end of the day, bro, the music industry is fucked up. It's cutthroat. It's fucked up right now. It's, it's, it's fucked up. It's cutthroat. And to be in the business, you got to be a chess player. And a lot of niggas come in there and they come in and they be like, I don't know why I'm popping out. They want to blame the producers that they didn't end up. They want to blame the writers. The blame the, they want to blame the artists. They want to blame everything. But it's all about your hustle and who you put yourself in a room with. Your network is your net worth. Real That's shit. my get down. So when I realized that the people around me um, was the situation, I made sure and put myself in rooms with everybody. Okay, da 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 da. All right, who's that? Oh, that's the president. Hey, listen, a lot of people don't know how to talk. If you're not a personable person, you're going to be in a situation where nobody, like, bro, how the fuck is the president or something go meet you if you didn't under, like you sound ridiculous niggas be complaining about shit they don't even go put the first they best foot forward on like I be feeling like even the even we always talk about South rappers, but South producers too. They they yeah. got bigger images than the fucking rappers too. But when yeah, you come on here on the West Coast, niggas money. don't know shit. They so you really money, do bro. gotta pop your shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit, more money, bro. So they get more money, my nigga. F that, no, 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 who? No, I'm, talk, who? I'm talking about <laughs> producers and writers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we they get, more get way more money than artists. Well, no, no, you know where they you know where they make up. You know where they make up shows. Yeah, they make up they make up on shows. See, like Breezy would get two million. In a show or some shit like, but see, I can't. We can't fuck with that. The difference what is, what we gonna bro, do with that? Is that I can't, that's a, a lot of hit records. As a bro. writer, bro, and as a producer, you don't have no age limit. You ain't have no shelf life. You could keep doing that yeah, shit. Yeah, that's a bro, wiki fact. For a long Quincy time. Quincy Jones like 108 <laughs> nigga making hits for Still, any time he feel like bro, it. Why are you twerking? Still, I'm not twerking. That what was mean? nuts. Did you catch that? <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! What, what in the AOD? What the hell? You was twerking? What? I was twerking. I didn't right. see it. We gonna play this back. You gonna see that was what weird. What in the crazy you want some? You want to get raved and then twerking? No, yeah, bro, yeah, that yeah. shit was crazy. Bro. I don't know. I did see some bouncing around. Yeah, I, I did, like, bro. I be mean, nervous. <laughs> what do you mean? You still you doing it now? What do you mean? I'm just I'm moving just my stop. legs. No, it's just. His leg is moving and the rest of them is going. <laughs> no, to no, no, I'm not. No, I'm telling you. No, this, I'm not like that. Spit on my mind. Y'all niggas. I'm turning like a gay Atlanta rapper. Oh, my God. nigga. This nigga. You look like. That nigga said he a rap with Saucy Santana. You know what I'm saying? They been on my nigga. See, look, you over there really with the gay rappers. And don't you bring up nothing. What? This nigga different. See, you must got beef with that nigga, man. Who you talking about? I don't know who you talking about. I'm just naming shit. See, I don't even know who you talking about. Why you bring that up? He just saying anything? No, because this nigga said, I'm just You said Saucy Santana. I didn't say Saucy I don't know. Honestly, that's all allegations. I think Saucy tight, though. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I think Saucy tight. Fuck it. What do you think is the biggest problem in the West Coast? Uh. Gangs in the, the West Coast? Yeah. It just depends on problem of what. There's a lot of problems. Like, like, like. For the, probably the government, the, the system. Just, just the climate of it yeah. and the sales. You Fuck, know, rappers everything. don't make it past Texas. Young God. Only like Roddy, maybe YG. Lie, a lot of people don't even make it to Texas. Keep it shit. New Young Mexico, God. as far as this nigga yeah. might go. Fuck a Utah. Why, you Solid saying City. why are artists not breaking out of LA? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, niggas be breaking out, but the problem is niggas make one track minded music. Niggas mm -hmm. make music for the block. 
Like nigga, I yeah, okay, nigga. I I came from the block. Every nigga, every family member of mine is a gang member. Every nigga around me is burnt the fuck out. Who cares? I'm making pop records. Bro, you gotta separate yourself. A lot of a lot of niggas don't know how to not make records that's just for the block and the block over there. Niggas wanna be cool in their community. I wanna be cool in Europe. I'm going to nigga, I'm trying to tell you, I'm over there in France and Greece. I'm in a beef. I ain't even got time to that's be playing with shit. niggas. Bro, real I'm real. over there. I'm bro, Scandinavia, I'll go to Scandinavia. Scandinavia and be the biggest artist in Scandinavia. Y'all won't know nothing about me, and I'll go run around them markets the whole time. Then go to Japan, which has three more billion people than we do. Like, I mean, um, Asia, which has three more billion people than we do. Bro, niggas be in. I was talking to the homie. I'm like, box. I'm like, let's go to Hawaii. He like, I ain't got my passport. I'm like, bro, I got to go. I'm like, bro, niggas. That's like some shit I would have said. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? When I was about 20. Hey, yeah. Fucking no cap, bro. I got offered this big ass movie, bro. And you know why I didn't get it? What? Because I didn't have my passport. Terrible. To Canada. That's what I'm saying. I missed out on a bag. That's just, that's terrible. Shout out Joe Coy, by the way. Because you want to know why? Because niggas don't be focused on uh, abroad. At the end of the day, they be focused on us. We don't be focused on them. The fact of the matter is you right now could go to Europe and just because you're in America and tied in and like locked in, bro, you'll be the biggest shit out there. They Real not shit. even do you understand? Even this nigga could drop a song in Europe and be the biggest nigga in Europe. And he don't even do music. Just because he been in the mix and you look at his gram and see what's going on, they'll be like, oh my God, that's the biggest. Oh, you been... They'll be screaming and running after the nigga in Asia and different places because they love America so much and American music so much that niggas don't understand, bro. You want to be on the block. What is the block? The block is so right here. Let's go way over there, nigga. The, the bro, chicks is different. Every, the food is different. Everything. The water's different. I'm trying to look through the water. Bro. Nigga, Pacific Ocean, I got a crib in Malibu, nigga. I can't see the sand. Anyway, that was that was like a personal hey. thing I have with no, you. Yeah, I no, see you. I, I see you was mad oh, at no, the carpet. I, I was about to ask you no, what saying, happened to the floor. I got with the Pacific yeah. Ocean. I was like, damn, shit cold it, as fuck. It might be a nigga down there. No, I'm saying it's cold as fuck. This so, nigga. so what happened with your homie? That you know, what I'm saying, did you tell him he was dumb as a motherfucker? He didn't need his passport to go to Hawaii. Yeah, I told the nigga that. No, I didn't say anything. You know what I said? I said, oh my mama. Yeah, get your passport. Holla at me. Because the fact of the matter is, I already knew he wasn't invited after that. But that's my nigga though. Because if you watching this, you my nigga. But lie. the punchline is <laughs> that's my nigga. Though, the turning point in my fuck? life was going over, out overseas for the first time. Right, and I said, bro, I said, why am I worried about the hood? Why bro? are you worried about the block? Like why, bro? I'm, I'm like, mama. bro, don't nobody know who I, I am don't right here. Time. Any problem I got in the hood right now don't even matter right now. Go over there and be like, nigga, I'm what's four, happening? I'm, cut I'm 14 hours away. away. I'm sorry, what? What he said? What he nigga, said? My turning point when I went. You talking about? I went to Seattle. Damn. <laughs> Seattle. All it took was Seattle. Seattle is depressing. I packed a bag and got in the airplane. Seattle, that was a turning baby? point. That That's is, when you was eating coffee oh, grinds? No. Hell no. <laughs> nigga look like you sell now later on the train. <laughs> <laughs> you went for show selling candy in school, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You went that nigga. You for show was. You for show was. Hey, anybody who went to school, you know I was. Well, you I was selling was. fake bus passes, candy. Damn. Fake, fake bus, bus passes? passes? Man, bro, you was next level for I'm real. I'm going to tell you how to do that. So, the fake doom, bus doom. passes is unbelievable. Josh, press it, Josh. No, my mama. You got it. Never mind. Fake bus passes is unbelievable. <laughs> Let me tell you how I was doing it. And, and, and I, I actually was doing it but check it out this is what was happening because i had got it had ended up getting it was a caught situation but check it out i was going to get niggas check this out i'm so genius so they used to have no i'm really a fucking legend they used to have they used to have the sticker on the bus passes right so when i get on the 212 or the 210 we i i noticed that niggas was flashing a sticker and just keep walking or they wallet and i'm like damn they just looking at the color Bet. I get one nigga five dollars, be like, let me use your bus pass for one day. They're like, all right, cool. I take that bus pass, I go get a bunch of niggas' IDs, scan the bus pass, scan a nigga ID, cut out the picture, boom, put the picture on top of the joint, scan that, then laminate all of it together and put it in a package, put it in a nigga wallet. He flashed now the motherfucking color on there. Now we on the bus for free. Hey, oh my mama, that was paying $60 a bus pass. I was selling it for $25. Nigga, oh my mama, the teacher start coming up to me getting them. Get this nigga, nigga a cookie, y'all. You a different type of nigga. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> nigga, just because you can't think of nothing but <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> putting on Get glasses. Get this nigga a cookie, y'all. This nigga can't think of nothing else. This nigga's skill set is at an all-time minimum. I ain't my nigga, though. But damn, that's how we're giving a nigga some real genius shit you got to put the... You got niggas get crafty. That nigga broke that shit down. No, my mama. Nigga, we don't give a fuck. Man, nigga, nigga. He said all you got to do is put on glasses. I don't care about your fucking jacket either, but I'm looking at it. So I'm forced said, to I'm look looking at, at that motherfucker too, nah, nigga. That no. fake ass nah, leather flag of your face. No, 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 don't no. have face in nothing. It, it, you, it's a real brand, but yeah, it's not like it. We know and the material. More, no, nigga. You yeah, need a teeth cleaning. <laughs> Listen, we need to get my nigga a grill. <laughs> ASAP. Oh, my we gonna get you a nose job, nigga. We gonna get we gonna get this nigga tank up out of here. If y'all get this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I deserve this nigga. You know what you should have done. Oh, I deserve that nigga. You should have took your baby. You should have made the tattoo, nigga. You should have made the nigga tattoo blast this. Did it, what that nigga you got 108 tattoos. That nigga said I got 108 tattoos. Oh <laughs> <laughs> hey, you my nigga. Come on, man. Yeah, I gotta stop popping yeah. it. It's ridiculous. Oh Come on, man. Yeah, well, I'm man. about to chill because I was looking at the charts and I just remembered who I was. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, y'all my niggas, though. Oh, okay, man. so what y'all on? What was we talking about? We talking about some more shit. I got so much hey, game for niggas. Fuck, did you know this is Chris Brown's cousin? Unbelievable. You didn't know that? No, no. don't tell that nigga oh, that, man. Oh, you do that. Is that <laughs> right? I don't think so. I don't think so. I would have seen that nigga somewhere in the house. Never mind. You might be Chris Brown's cousin. Yep. Is he lying or is he telling the truth? Hey, <laughs> you got to ask Duno. This Duno. nigga don't know. He ain't never been in the studio with Chris, yeah, man. Yeah, okay. My thing is, this nigga, is you really? You might be. You weird. You might be. I know you tiger. <laughs> so Chris Best weird? Friend. Oh. Huh? So Chris weird? Huh? No, Chris you said I'm nigga. weird. No, but I'm saying you weird. But so, Chris, uh, my nigga, don't try to throw that nigga yeah. in the mix. We make money together. Man. I, I love, love Chris, nigga. man. Oh my mama. This yeah, that's my cousin. Nigga. For real? Don't worry about nothing. Unbelievable. Now I'm about to tell on your all ass. that. I tell nigga. Yeah. What you talking about, nigga? <laughs> Body you can't tell. Nigga, a nigga said he wrote me. all the whole yeah. album. Nigga, you ain't do shit in the studio. Yeah. The whole shit. Yeah, right. Nigga, nigga. was in there. Hey, that nigga. It was smoking cigarettes. Niggas, yeah. artists be writing too. Don't get it fucked up. We don't no, just that nigga show be freestyling doing his thing. A nigga be writing too. Now a lot of artists don't. Like I'm not gonna go in the studio with a random. Like a lot of these artists don't. Like zero. But niggas like him that's actually creative actually do. A couple niggas do. But like Post Malone write. Like a lot of these niggas write. They really just want to beat some of them. But you know if you smart you want me to write it with you. With you. You, you want me to come to? in and tag team everything? So what you mean, nigga? I do everything, man. Don't, no, nigga, sing, you want to no, battle? Man, Singapore, <laughs> Singapore, I'm singing shit, nigga. What I look like? This nigga got Singapore. me fucked up. Singapore, okay. Like, nigga, you sound unbelievable. Fuck, 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 Off, God, bro, was there ever a song that released that you were like, man, I wish that shit never came out? Um, I don't fuck with that artist. I know he a bitch. The, the, the shit with the Amber Diamond girl. That's hilarious. This <laughs> what a happened, different what type happened? of nigga. He, he called what he did. How he did it up? What he do? Story. He gave a bitch some song for he, some pussy he got and then wanted to get out. Oh, oh hell no! Oh, Man, on oh, my mama. Is that shit on the charts? Songs, no, Check I, the charts. <laughs> yeah. Hey, speak on. Is the shit on the charts? I'm gonna tell this nigga, but hey, hey, yeah. speak on that. It was a weak ass loving hip hop artist. Uh, no, she uh. Damn, I wish you had the video. I seen the video. Video unbelievable, bro. That shit funny as hell. It's unbelievable. Amber Diamond. Yeah, it's my nigga though. She shout out to Amber Diamond, man, cause she like a model. She like a chocolate, good looking chick. But well, she, everybody can, don't be the singers, huh? So, she actually did hey, it, but they gave they gave him the bag. Oh, no, they gave me the bag. What happened? Hey, he went story. out there and she came out the booth. It was unbelievable. He was like Mariah. What you say? <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> he was like, Listen, so let me you tell was, you what happened. So hey, he hyped her up, bro. So you hyped her up. Oh, you full of shit. Why you full of shit? Hey, hey, what you oh, say? So you a real nigga? He said, he said, Mariah, Whitney. Amber. He called her <laughs> Whitney? No, I'm going to tell you the truth. Man, I never heard of her stupid ass. <laughs> no, no. Whoa. Hey, look, y'all fucked up. I'm check, the charts, check the charts. Check the charts, I'm going to tell you what happened. So she basically came and her mom, because her mom got a bag, right? Her name's Shun. She got a bag. So what happened was, Shun was like, look, Rock, I got a bag for you. Like, But my uh, my daughter, she want to sing. I'm like, she want to sing? That's my back. Bring the bag. What you? Oh. So, so boom. So she showed up. Boom. She, we did it all on TV because I'm on TV every day. But the punchline is, <laughs> she came outside. I don't want y'all to forget that. I, you turn on VH1 anytime you want to see me, I'm there. But the punchline <laughs> is, she dropped the motherfucking bag 
How much she, was it? How much was it? 40,000. She brought out 40,000. Boom. You know, because I charge like 50, 60 a song. So she brought out 40. I was giving her an independent price. She dropped 40. Boom. She was like, here, I'm going to give you 20 right now, 20 when it's done. So, nigga, I walked in the booth, nigga. It was time to make a hit regard by all means necessary so she went in there with the unbelievable octaves i don't know where them octaves was at but they was unbelievable so she was doing her <laughs> shit that note that note that note i did that note and that note she did those notes but i wasn't gonna <laughs> let that stop anything so i came in and i said there's no way that's stopping nothing so i was like cool boom i walked in i'm like this is how we gonna do this Next thing you know, she was singing harmonies, background singing, all kind of shit. I was like, this shit is excruciating, but I'm not going to ever in my life let that stop me. So I was like, nigga, that shit is amazing. She was like, for real? I'm like, nigga, do I look like I lie? So she like, hell yeah. So she came out, boom, hey, came out the like piece of shit. No, yeah, I'm trying to be like you. My yeah. thing is, the punchline is, she came out doing her shit, boom. So she's singing, she doing her shit. She was like, did I really do my shit? I said, listen, Whitney, Mariah, Amber Dyer. <laughs> she like, for real? I said, nigga, why the fuck would I lie? I said, and listen, man, my nigga. Performing. It was Ooh, crazy. That's crazy. I just, wait, wait, wait. Man, I was trying to support my people. That's my people on my mama. Now, but where's she at right now? Huh? So where's she at now? She's a wilding out girl. Mm-hmm. That's funny. Do what day? Why is that funny? Do you know? she, I thought she was Mariah. Huh? She was just Mariah, dog. Oh, unbelievable. And then now Nick Cannon fucking. <laughs> That's a dick. Why y'all niggas? I think you niggas is setting niggas up. No, you niggas is really set up. I'm not bringing up nobody else. Who y'all niggas want to talk about? All right, look. He said I'm not bringing up nobody else. Oh, my mama. No, That's crazy. crazy. You, I told you this. Hey, she said, they didn't give me the rest of the money, though. My mama, that was. Oh, so she, didn't, so she gave you a dub? Man, she gave me the dub, though. I took was that straight hot? to the bank. I, she was like, I hope my mom like it. I'm like, at this point, she got to like it because that it's money it. is deposited. It's unbelievable. That shit was already under the bank. Then you should have got it. Yeah. You gave her at least two, three songs she could have picked from. I gave her a solid smash. It was called, what was it called? I don't remember. Unbelievable. Baby, I deserve. <laughs> it was unbelievable. But it was a vibe. It was definitely a vibe. It actually yeah. sounded decent, but the mom wasn't fucking with it. And I'm like... For what I was doing, I did some unbelievable shit. I put the tune with the reverb, with the EQ, I dropped did out Did you let her note. hear your part? Huh? Did you let her hear your part before her daughter's part? I gave her the whole situation. Mm. I didn't let her hear that. I just, uh-uh. Oh, yeah, she probably yeah. had demoitis. Yeah. Because my shit be unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Man, you lied about her whole career. That's yeah, no, nah, it's fucked up. And it's his fault. This the nigga. Fault. I ain't gonna lie. That's the worst nigga I know. <laughs> this nigga is terrible. Yeah, I've never crazy. not seen this nigga drunk outside. Oh, yeah. Every bad. time yeah. I see this nigga, he be Gone. through the roof. Him and OT. Yeah, terrible too. I don't even do it no more. Y'all niggas should do a group called Terrible Too. Bro, we used to be bad, wow. bro. Wow, that's hard. Damn, damn, do, do OT ever miss you? Like, damn, miss my dog, bro. No, I still go out with him. I mean, but you don't drink. I ain't got a drink. But come on, what do you be doing? I mean, when I'm drunk and you ain't drunk, it ain't the same. Nah, bro. The thing is, if, if you got to have fun by drinking, bro, then you ain't having fun. You bro. ain't having fun. You don't got to have fun Listen, by drinking, but I used but to have to look to in the drunk. mirror before I went out. I used to have to stop in the middle of the club and go find a mirror and admire myself and then re re realize that I'm taking myself down to deal with these people. And that used to help <laughs> me have fun. But I, you know, y'all don't be doing that. Nah, y'all don't ain't... be doing that. So you ain't never did no drugs and drinking I mean, anything, you know what I'm saying? I don't do drugs, man. I ain't going to lie. A nigga like, like I smoke weed when it's time to create a, a masterpiece, an unbelievable record, a record that's going to land somewhere over there. Man, so you ain't smoke when you did that one song with that one girl? Impossible. I was sober <laughs> as a three-year-old. It's, it's unbelievable. Let me tell you what's actually going on, though. Hell no. I don't do drugs. I don't do none of that shit because it's too much. I feel like you can end up, I don't know. I done been, when you come from the bullshit, I just done seen too many niggas. I got an addictive personality. Like, me too. I'm addicted Bad. to money. I'm addicted to, you know what I'm saying? Chicks that look undescribable. And it's different shit going on, but really the only chick that looks undescribable is my girl right so now. You so, but, so, I can't so, but, but, I'm addicted but, so you saying if Shout you were to, to do drugs, you'll get addicted. 
Bro, I just have an addictive did, personality, bro. bro. I know I would and I ain't got time. You got to know yourself. That's if to master. You, you got to know yourself, bro. I'm a master of things. Like I, I study things, and like, bro, I wrote a whole book called Go Season. Like it's, it's everything they never told you about the music business. I broke down mastering yourself and mastering understanding and how that relates to master. Like everything, I really study things, bro. Like I'm like not no genius that showed up and oh I can make it. No, I really. Like spend ten thousand hours on shit over and over and Reading over and over. Reading and all that. Really understanding shit, overstanding shit, so that when it was time, so like nah, like I, I mastered things. You understand what I'm saying? I'm a different type of nigga. I mean, you've been around all the bigger artists, you know what I'm saying, in the games. Yeah. Do you really think that Illuminati shit is real? Have Absolutely. you been around it? Of course that shit is real. I, for me, I they don't like niggas as loud as me. You see what I'm screaming? Like, I'm just a loud oh, They don't nigga. want you to be a part of it, but you can sit on the side. Nigga, I'm just, I just, I might, I might know, <laughs> yeah. I might know that I be knowing everybody. I know everybody Real that shit. know everybody. So my thing is, I just know who running every program at all times. But I personally be way over there somewhere, got nothing to do with niggas. Because I be way out the way. But you got to decode all that, which really comes down to no. Hell no. I ain't got time to be playing with niggas. That's out. That shit get wicked outside. I, shit, I've been been in church my whole life. Mm -hmm. I see. Now, man, this nigga, <laughs> you look like you look like you look like that they nigga. Like I'm gonna wear this you motherfucker. Like I'm gonna wear this motherfucking church shirt because it's nigga. too much Illuminati <laughs> shit going like, on out here. Niggas, niggas is like <laughs> you look like you used to swim behind the church. You know <laughs> but look, no, no, you my nigga though. But nah, hell no. Nah. The punchline is nah, hell no. Nah. That that's a touchy subject for niggas like me. I don't even know why people ask about shit like that. If you really know what's going man, on outside. I have another song in the chart. No, you sound ridiculous. That don't got nothing to do with niggas. That's out. Niggas can't stop what I got going on. All that shit is like, nigga, for niggas who is fraternity type niggas. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a one big fraternity. It's some fraternity shit. If you shit. ain't in that club, you wanna run in there with some matter. fraternity niggas and that's your niggas you grow up with and now y'all got a thing that's like, here, we gonna just share knowledge with us and not them. That's the type of shit going on. I personally It's, it's going on here too. Uh, Why you nah, I'm just bullshitting. Damn, girl. <laughs> you know, and they be fucking with Adam, but oh. nah, we ain't doing that shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, this nigga sick. We're not doing none of that. This nigga don't got a half of a filter. He's trying oh, no. 360 over here. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn it. I make money off my tour. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, God. <laughs> nah, but yeah, you know, that should be that should be wild. But the punchline is, hell nah. Everything I did, I earned. I came from the bottom, niggas tried to stop me, and that shit didn't stop shit. So I built everything. That's why I love myself so much, because I know what I overcame. I know where I came from. I know I came from sitting there, sleeping on the uh, floor, and doing this, and doing that, nigga. Hey, I know certain celebrities because, nigga, like, the first time I met Nick Cannon, nigga, I was sleeping on the nigga's floor. He didn't even know. His, his, his younger brother, Ruben Cannon, Caleb and Gabriel Cannon, them, like, my best friends, one of my closest niggas. But that nigga, Ruben, we was all just broke as fuck. But I didn't have a spot when I was, like, 16. Nigga, Ruben was like, come on, just sleep. Sleeping on the floor in Nick house. That nigga, I was like, this is crazy. That nigga, did, he was gone so much, he didn't even know I lived there. It's unbelievable. Damn. Why Why do you think motherfuckers be shelving artists? Shelving artists? Yeah. Uh, Why you, yeah, like record labels. They ain't making no money. They ain't making no money. I mean, so you I want to ask a nigga a because the A and R don't know how to work no I more. I brought that up they because I want to. I brought that up because I want to ask a question because it seemed like my boy True Car is getting you know what I'm saying shelved by whack. You feel me? Like who I wanna, is True Car? <laughs> who even watch? He from Watts, but he's an artist. He's wax artist. Oh, you okay. feel me? But, you know I do pop. I mean, yeah. It's hard to talk to me about rappers. For real, I'm not. Oh, so like you I really don't care. So you really just don't care about Los Angeles. No, I'm a LA nigga. I fuck with LA niggas. I fuck with Greedo niggas. Niggas that's you know my older brother from. I fuck with Greedo. I fuck with different niggas that's from different sections that I fuck with. But if I don't really know what's going on, I'm not gonna be paying attention. That's not my forte. My but even forte if it's, is, but even if it's not a rapper, you know what I'm saying? That I'm, is whack artist. But how do you feel about um, you know motherfucking shelving artists? Shelf and artist, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like, and I don't know Wax situation. Even though you Wack, gave him a gang of hits, the motherfucker will shove you. I don't know Wax situation. I know Wax, Wax, Wax always been cool with me. I ain't never been in a situation where I could just speak on Wax situation, but I know in, in general, A&R's, like, A&R's 
And, and labels, they be lazy. You see what I'm saying? So it be a lot of A&Rs that get an artist and the next thing you know, they be like, they, they throw something out and then it don't be a hit. So they be like, all right, next mm -hmm. artist. Because they career, they feel like they, they job is on the line. So they don't want to work through it. Sure. Like Tina Davis, like Tina Davis, who, who found Chris Brown and created, like did all that with Chris and brought him into the situation. Tina Davis, she left with Def Jam and he was on Def Jam, Chris Brown, and was like, no, nah, no, nah, he coming with me and took him with her. Nigga, we both going to RCA. We both going over here to Mark and da, 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 and went over there. What happened so, to Tina Davis? Uh, she runs Empire. Well, why she stop fucking with Chris? I don't know. I don't know the backdrop. Tina, yeah. my nigga, though. Tina's always been a beast. Tina was one of the people that was put me on uh, a C, uh, on X album. Tina, a beast. I don't know her backdrop with Chris. I don't know what the hell happened. What's she over there doing with Empire? Uh, I think she like the president or something. The Empire VP or something. Yeah, she like the vice president or the president of Empire. Y'all still got a Tina good relationship? Davis. That's my people. Yeah. Hell yeah. Shout out Tina. That's my oh people. God, Tina, my nigga. I was just trying to see <laughs> what happened. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, this nigga is yeah. a sick guy. Don't eat grimy, hey, bro. Not grimy. me. Hey, look. Not yeah, me. Yeah. Hey, look. Like, uh, this is <laughs> a sick guy. You are a sick guy. Yeah. Nah, not this year. Hell no. Nah. But listen, Tina, my nigga. Nah, the punchline. Like, she's a beast. See, certain executives, I can't with people that. She's just too much of a beast to even be playing with like that. Like, I'm one, like yeah, one thing Tina didn't trust though. If Tina, you ever looking at this, I ain't gonna never forget. You know, what I'm saying when Chris Brown was doing his transition when he had his little incident. Yeah, yeah he he didn't know how to put music out. You know, what I'm saying they was they was shelving him. They was doing yeah. this thing. They wasn't yeah. putting no music out. But there was a you know there was an the internet. There was a hot new hip hop. There was right. shit you could put. You know, what I'm saying right. hip, they was you could put out your mixtape. So he had to find an artist to you know, what I'm saying to give him that formula to huh. figure out how to. Put Put out the mixtape and put out his music a different way, which was Tiger. You know what I'm saying? So when he found oh, wow. him, when he found Your him Lord and he did Savior. that, yeah, on God in heaven. <laughs> Your and shout out to and, and shout out and shout out to Mio too because he put that to Mio. Put, put that together. Mio. You feel me? So That's when he nigga. did that, That's my nigga, nigga. Yeah, on God. God. <laughs> so when he put when he when he did that shit, boom, they, they had the whole little shit. Fan of a fan, shit went crazy, right? You know That's what I'm saying? But too. we we went back to L. A. and we start uh, recording that challenge, and Tina's like. Hold on, what's this? It was we, the whole little we, thing. Yeah, 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 we, we for sure. I was, they didn't give me no credit on yeah, the rap. No, 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 you know what I'm saying? They didn't give you me no credit. You were supposed to get your plaque, though. I didn't get no plaque. You should have got, got no plaque. That was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> that was your but, first experience. I, I told you they had them eating terrible. coffee grinds and they shit, give me no, Unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? They didn't give me no plaque. But she was in there and she didn't trust that process. He was. What? I said he was still a chocolate cake. You said he didn't trust the process? She didn't trust the process of actually putting out a mixtape and then a mixtape doing something and she thought it would hurt his career but it actually brought Boosted. him back and you know what I'm saying today who but he fan is, of a fan me? he already yeah. had dropped yo and all that he was already booming no he wasn't booming no more after his oh, little yeah. incident oh, it was no, over it was, it, was gone. it was done it was like yeah. done. look niggas is doing this endorsements oh, okay. yeah, niggas is doing that yeah, 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 yeah but yeah, yeah it was how cold do you like, how do you feel like he came back from that how did he come back? Yeah. Do the mixtape and let people hear the music and how creative Nigga, he was as an artist. You know what I'm saying? They're doing his thing, but he, we, we really didn't that have before producers you to work after with. You. That's after. That was after you. That's after. what I'm saying. He was already yeah. a superstar. But I mean, because of the, the, the re -re situation. Bro, that, that nigga, nigga was untouchable, bro. Yeah. Like nigga, that, that yeah, because that's of that, that's the problem. That's what I don't like about the music business. Same shit with Travis Scott. Same shit with all. Like if you hear Wills fall off off that Breezy album, Breezy talk about that shit. Same shit with Travis Scott. I'm not actually Dirk talks about it because Dirk's on that record. He talked about I don't like what they trying to do to Travis. Like I'm fucking with the culture because at the Where end of the day, niggas is doing like they will cancel you so fast and feel like they got the right to cancel. You know I built these fans. These fans with me. You gonna try and sway my fans against me? These the motherfuckers I give a fuck about. I don't fuck about what y'all talking about. Fuck these. Fuck. Fans. So, how do you feel about the Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez thing? Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez? I don't know, man. I can't be. I, I know Tory, but mm. my thing is, I, the, my thing is, I don't know. I'm not in it. I had to be there. I, nigga, she say, he say. Like, I don't know about the he say, she say shit. That shit a little weird. I ain't know. I, I mean, with the gun, with, I don't know what happened. I, I know I ain't put myself in no situation where I'm dry snitching or doing no weird shit. Well, neither, I'm going to get so you out of there right now. That. I want you to snitch on yourself. So rewind. You like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, rewind back to Travis. <laughs> yeah, that nigga, uh, Travis actually performed in New York. Cause <laughs> We going to get out of there because you have been to say some stupid <laughs> shit. <laughs> 
nigga that's like this nigga. Oh, that's AD like, homie. Sure. AD like, get this yeah, nigga get up out of there. there. Transition, out transition. Of there. Yeah, my transition. Mama. But yeah, that nigga Travis okay. Scott, he just performed in New York. You feel me? So, yeah. and I and he he had to stop the show, which I feel like just be fucking the energy fucking up. The energy but you off. also can see that it's clearly the fucking fans' fault. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Doing dumb shit, climbing yeah. the raps, yeah, doing wild shit. Yeah, like how? Yeah, like how can I do this? Show your dumb ass up and just watch. And just and have fun. And have a great time. You know what Niggas want to climb up the speaker, do a backflip. Nigga, <laughs> you're trying to die at my concert. <laughs> I got <laughs> shit going on. But RIP to those people on Houston. Yeah, but I feel up. like that, that that shit ain't got nothing to do with us. Man, man. My mama. Like, man, that's that nigga. Real. That ain't, that ain't, yeah, that's they ain't got nothing up. to do with that nigga, no, man. No, they ain't got nothing to do with that. But I'm saying like, now, now, <laughs> now, 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 I will say, I will say, you do have to make sure, and and, and and the artists don't control that, but you gotta make sure that the crowd is being controlled. Because if Michael Jackson, nigga, first oh, that of was all, crazy. niggas was passing the fuck out. I was telling niggas. You know that's how you know that's how I met, right. you know that's how I met Chris Brown at Michael's house. Whoa. Oh <laughs> speak on it. Speak on it. That's how I met Chris Brown. Oh, that's a bar. At Michael's house. Because I well, I was I was He dead. never even told me he went to Michael's house. No, no, no. What y'all was doing over there? <laughs> you a weird ass nigga. <laughs> you stop talking about what niggas was doing places. Oh, you're with trying to see you. you've ever the nigga done got with your nigga. No, R P Mike, yeah. dog. R P yeah, Mike. You got me fucked up. <laughs> what the fuck nigga, was you was doing over I there by yourself? <laughs> you sound stupid as no, hell. No, no, no. nigga there you go. John, no, John. T-Rail, go. No, 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 okay, no, 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 no. Before we, before we go back to that. This nigga on, hey, Mike, on, how you, how you walk in the hallway? Mike didn't do it, y'all. No, 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 Mike, Mike didn't, didn't do, do it. No, I'm just asking why would you hold. Mike didn't do it, y'all. No, you were really walking in the hallway and you seen Chris. Huh? How old was you? How old was you? You got me fucked up. Man, how old was you? Man, how old was you? You got me fucked up, nigga. This nigga sick in the head. How old was this nigga? First of all, nigga. Hey, you know Macaulay Culkin? I was a grown ass man, nigga. Oh, fuck that's you crazy. talking about? You sick in the fucking no, head. No, what was you doing? I was dating his niece, you weird ass nigga. So Mike called you? I dated his so niece Mike for five you. years. And she lived no. at his house. You a weird no, ass nigga. So Mike called you? Yeah, nigga. God. What you talking about? It's the weirdest nigga in America. I can't even. No, no, no. Right, like, right, let's be serious. Now. In let's Los go back. Angeles, let's go back. You got to be the strangest no, nigga. No, no, no. No, my mama. no, let's go back. So you, that's a bar, though. Nigga, it was you a met legendary Chris conversation. Brown. You turned in. No, it was weird funny. Kid. I just had to make it funny. Nigga. I had to make it funny. You know, said, what was you doing over there? That shit started off legendary. <laughs> and this nigga that turned into this nigga crazy. This nigga out of pocket. What was Chris Brown doing over there? That nigga was. Bro, that's his idol, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. actually rock with that nigga. The point is. That's crazy. Now, listen. I was over there. I was dating his niece for five years. Genevieve Jackson. I was dating her for five years. So you got to understand. Bar. So she lived on Havenhurst at the Michael house. So I literally was there with like Miss Jackson. I play scrap with her all the time. Like that was my family. Her dad, Jermaine. I'm like, that was my family. So I grew up in a legendary house. He grew up in uh, in, in, in the other side I of East Los Angeles. Angeles. <laughs> I, grew up, I grew up watching legends. Yeah. So I was around legendary niggas. So I was in a situation where I was in the legendary house over there, and that was my girl. That's where she lived. So CB, basically, Michael wanted to meet. Uh, uh, the family wanted to meet CB. So like, they always like, yo, CB. So all of them, the kids, all of them, Randy, Dante, like everybody was around that motherfucker. So they all came. They met him, and it was it was a cool situation. That's why I met him. That was the first time I met him. So y'all, so when y'all he was, met, a, he, like, was, he was he was he was popping at that point in time. Was you a producer now, still? You a weird ass nigga. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you was a producer. I don't know what this. You, this nigga like a goddamn. Man, you look like a little. You a fat yeah. nigga. He you just said you a fat nigga. Hell. I don't know what the hell go. This nigga, I can't even see his man, neck. You got the I don't know the lay yo. If the if they had to do surgery on you, your heartbeat would not be visible. <laughs> <laughs> yo, but here's the fuck. When the last time you oh, seen yeah, your feet? Yeah. Big ass <laughs> nigga, unbelievable. This nigga, I know. I'm the. All right, look. The punch line like is. A pyramid. No, but my thing That's is you no. only have sex on your no. back. <laughs> nigga, you ain't never had sex on top. Yeah, yeah that nigga ain't never. Shut up. Always has to lay on his back. So you got my good house. Unbelievable. How long do it take you to turn around? <laughs> Man, bro, you wasn't dating Denise. Know, I'm not even looking. Bro, you wasn't dating You Danny DeVito, DeVito, DeVito height. height. <laughs> you Danny DeVito height in the weight <laughs> of Chris Brown. Shall oh. You look like Shallow Hal. <laughs> and you look like one of the victims at the house. <laughs> oh, my burnt. God. I like that one, though. Mike didn't do it, y'all. 
Mike didn't What's do up it. With this nigga? Mike didn't do I it, y'all. I can't tell y'all niggas nothing, man. Y'all niggas is ridiculous. Bro, so you was, like, so you was a producer it. then, and you passed your number to Chris, and that's how y'all built a relationship? Uh, No, that was just the first time I ran into him. Then, Miho, we used to be doing the... I'm not even going I'm not going out. The dance shit... That was back when that shit was active in the hood. So you was clown dancing. Have you acting different today? No, I because you said the, the dance shit. Yeah, but but, Mijo, but Mijo had, used to do that shit. And that's, that's how you used to crumb. That's how everybody... Clown, clown is the shit that they had. Was clown was weak. <laughs> crump and we was bucking. Like, I, like my get-off game, unbelievable. Oh, so you can crump. You can crump? That's where it came, you know. That's I. I used to literally like be, but the oh, punchline so, is that's I was the nigga with the shit. But the punchline, <laughs> and the, I'm really like on the black off like it's unbelievable. Yeah, just, but the fact you act different. See, no, I know you was over no, there. In but me, oh, but no, that's what me. Me and me, used too. to be battling. We yeah. been battling the state battles, all kind of shit. So Damn. he used to be with CB. So at that point, that was how I met the nigga on the dance shit. Then after that, we met back up on the music shit through Mark Pitts. Damn, that's Tina hard. Davis. That's, that's a hard from story there, you know, yeah. Well, I've been at the Grammys ever since and some more shit. So I don't give a fuck what niggas talking about. We've been making money. Me and CB been making money so long, it's scary. It's not like y'all niggas got friends you to make no money with. I don't got time. <laughs> my friends, we make millions of dollars together. Oh, my mama, though. Shit, I don't make no money with dude, though, dog. Oh, <laughs> I do. <laughs> this nigga sick. That, that, why you only move that arm? That's the only one I can move. <laughs> All right, my mama. This nigga, y'all niggas cold today. <laughs> this nigga, y'all yeah, oh, this nigga whole crump was on this. Yeah. That nigga like, I don't know, he about to start. He about to start. No, he about to bring start. it on, motherfucker. <laughs> bring it on. Bring it on, nigga. Yeah. Give me stop the yard. Bring it on. That's unbelievable. Nah, bro, Chris Brown ain't put you in the movie. Nah, was he in Bring It On? What you talking about? Bring It On. I mean, I mean, <laughs> no, from step up, step up. Man, look, nigga, this nigga been over here going viral at the Mariachi. I know this nigga. <laughs> I know this nigga footwork is nuts. I could tell. Man, that was all you had to offer. That's all you had to offer at the Kingsingera. Shut up, you don't lie about a whole girl. That nigga was the main one in the middle of the circle at the Kingsingera. Hey, can you bust a move? Hey, can you bust a move? It's my nigga. You mean when I make was house like this? <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Look, this the thing. This the thing. Fuck all that, man. But come on, can we talk? Yeah, I can't deal with y'all, niggas. Man. This gonna be what we on. <laughs> I told you. It was can we crazy. get some game to the crowd? I told you it was crazy. Can we talk about some? So how to feel some crazy. shit? Oh my god! Wait, wait. I know it was my this. nigga Sharp calling. Hold on. Who? Sharp the P. What the fuck going on up over there, man? Okay. Man, we 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 on we alive right now, man. Man, look, I'm over here doing my job moderating in the comments, right? What happened? Hey, man, they say they ain't fucking with it, church. They say it need to, it need to turn up just a little bit, you know? Ooh. Man, they, I'm just, I'm just, I just thought I'd call in, man. You know, as a viewer for the viewers, you dig what I'm saying, man? They say it need to turn up a notch, man. It's getting dull. I don't know. The nigga <laughs> said, we over here. Nigga said, huh? Everybody said, what? <laughs> we been going crazy for an hour and 22 hey, minutes. Nigga, I've been I'm having sweating. fun. Yeah. I've been having a blast. blast. Hey, Josh, you know, what they said, Josh? Make sure the viewers having some fun with you. Okay, okay. Too. They throwing tomatoes? Sharp, a man of the people, man. I'm a man of the people, oh, man. The people God. asked me to call in, so I did just that. Okay. All right. So what we got to get you back know, to? Should we talk about the music? <laughs> All right, sir, my I'm nigga, glad, love you, man. Nigga. Thank God. Dude. Hey, I love I was you. I'm talking to y'all yeah. niggas about uh, y'all niggas. Uh, look, he's studying me. Look at this nigga. He's terrible. All right, but look. Man, Sharp over there hating on our show, oh, man. Mama, Josh, give us some statistics, hell? man. Give us some analytics, man. Come what on, we got man. going I ain't on, man? Tripping. We ain't worried about He that. said we born. Nah, we having fun, nigga. Sharp, don't me. He, 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 he trying to help out, man. Okay, so what y'all want to talk about? Come on, let's, what, what, what you want to talk about? I don't know, I'm sweating, nigga. I thought this was an hour show. Hey, I'm, I'm having an hour, hour I'm having fun. fun. Nah, nigga, this, this is two is hours, genius. nigga. Oh, is it? Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling, I posted like a thumbnail. So when did, you, when did you start getting to the uh, producer shit? Uh, the producer shit? Yeah, do you, when I did, was like 16. 16? Was you yeah. more like rapping, singing, or then yeah, you just start fucking rapping? With, oh, okay. Battle rapping, shit like that. Yep, the pit, you know what I'm saying? Damn, the shit like, yeah, I'm How old are you? Uh, 32. Oh, shit. Yeah. They so, older. Nah, hell no. Nah. I've been doing this shit since I was drinking Similac, but nah. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> so who gave you your first beat machine? Or what, uh, how do you, the keyboard, uh, what Bob, instruments? You know what I'm saying? Tim and Bob gave me my first beat machine. Tim and Bob. Yep, them motherfuckers, you know, they legendaries. They did shit. Them niggas did everything from Boyz II Men all the way down. They gave me my first beat machine 
Matter of fact, I was rapping. Them niggas was like, bro, get in the booth and do a melody for me just to test the mic. And I went in the booth. I was like, all right, cool. I was doing a melody. Just because they was trying to get the levels right because they had Mariah or somebody coming in at that day. And they was like, da 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 I was like, all right, cool. So I started singing. Them niggas like, hey, bro, them melodies is not. Hey, man, you need, to start, you need to start singing some shit. I start, that was literally when I changed into being like, all right, let me try it. Start writing songs ever since. So How did you crazy. meet them? Tim Bob. Yeah. My sister, she's like a, she won like, Damn near the American, the first American Idol, like way back. My sister's a super singer, so she always was in the mix. She was doing background. Her and James Fauntleroy was singing background for Bobby Valentino. Motherfucker, you was dating Michael Jackson's knees. Your yeah. sister won American Idol. <laughs> it is what it is. You won I, lucky, I'm just telling you, motherfucker. Yeah, no, my my like, reality is just far fetched. It seemed cocky, it's just what it is, nigga. The, the my thing is just really I I can't cap. What I never do is cap. It's just what it is. But the punchline is hell no. I, my sister basically was doing Bobby uh, uh, back. Uh, background singing for J Lo, Bobby Valentino, a bunch of different people with James Fauntleroy. So then they were producing it. So she just she just introduced my little, my little brother does music da da da, and then from there that's when it started. Yep. Where did where did you grow up at? All over L A. Shit. That point in time I was living off since in L A. and La Brea. Yeah, right by the Popeyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. but you said your brother was from Grape Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to SK, but I fuck with all the grapes. My other older brother over there, he from Lanes. Fuck with all the Lanes. My other nigga over there, uh, Infrared, he from Treetop. Mm -hmm. Fuck with all the trees. I fuck with... That's my whole family, my so I, I'm all through there. That's my whole... You know what I mean? But how do you know? I'm <laughs> yeah. in and out like the burger joint. How you doing? Well, my other nigga Booty over there, you know, that nigga Cedar Block. We be outside. Yeah. We, uh, we nonstop. My whole family really like... We really like all in the mix, but that's whatever. That's got nothing are to do you with talking no money. To, are you talking to one of these producer niggas? No, you know I'm saying? talking like, to you. I know nigga, don't fuck with me, nigga. Nah, nigga, you, you just asked saying? me what was yeah. happening. Right? I'm how'd just you, telling how, you. So how'd you dodge the gangbanger thing? Uh, shit. You know, you just shit, fly my motherfucking. What'd you say, dude? No? I'm like, you too fly for that shit. You know yeah, no, you know, <laughs> you know, just like, you know, like just being, uh, you know, my family, they doing enough. Banging for everybody. I, you know, everybody doing the max. I just, I always been chill. They, I'm the nigga that's close. Here, go do your shit. I'm finna. So that's basically what it was. You go do your thing because I know yeah, you gonna be finna, big. Yeah, and then now we finna this shit right here. Don't if some go down, we here. It's not we. Never, so that's how it's always been. I just, you know, but I mean, you know, niggas gonna throw me in whatever category they gonna throw me in. But I, I make music. You he know a B dog, I mean? yo. Yeah, oh my god, exactly. Start gang banging <laughs> off the rip. My thing is the punchline is my niggas. My family is really like. It's my family. I can't do nothing about it. So that's just what it is. And we just going viral on a consistent basis. If it's time for it. Other than that, we top 40. That's it. Did, you know, did moms and pops, you know what I'm saying, did they support your career in the beginning too? Uh yeah, I mean they, they you know I'm they kid they gonna they gonna rock with me if they can rock with me you know what I'm saying but I don't think they realize I was gonna be a legend. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> if they would have knew that they probably would have invested a little more money. I, I probably wouldn't have been sleeping on the floor at the homie house. Oh my mama. For How sure. did everybody feel when you had your first hit? Uh probably like God damn it this nigga ain't never gonna stop talking now. Fuck, well, how many rents you paid when your first hit? A lot. My God, That's a good one. nigga, you know how much rent I was paying, nigga? Oh, my God. You know how much handouts I done gave? I done gave out some, man, just to, man. Because, like, you know, when you get money, you want everybody to win. You got to learn how to say no. That's a big part of being a boss. Have you ever worked with Soulja Boy? No, nah, I never worked with Soulja Boy. For, for who do you think would have won Chris Breezy or Soulja Boy in that boxing match? Breezy, for sure. Yeah. Breezy a real boxer. He actually be boxing like we get out there and get I out. I be telling niggas he got locks. No, nah, that nigga got locks. He really a boxer. He really a he might hurt there. somebody. That's, nah, Soldier Boy like really just an Atlanta nigga that like you know from the streets or whatever he got going on. He just got famous. I don't think it's the same type of lock game though. I didn't see niggas lock. I'm a real like I, I like nigga focus and know how to. That nigga stamina is different. Nigga, I, after about thirty seconds with me, I gotta tap a nigga. In. Hey, it's still time to fight him. Hey, if bro, you ain't do all that. Right. Bro, bro, that nigga do real over. shows, bro. bro. He dances for that two nigga. Hours. Motherfucking the stamina. Win, the win yeah, is there. I don't think that's gonna be. But let that shit. They really should have ran the fade. That'd have been great. Yeah, shit, that'd have been great. He was at the basketball shit though. Remember, he was on the he other was team. He was on the other team. Yeah, fuck what's the guy? Would you consider um fucking Soldier Boy a trendsetter? 
Trent said, yeah, hell yeah. That nigga was doing shit before niggas was doing shit. That's what a trendsetter is. <laughs> he was doing hella shit before niggas was doing shit. Any nigga that was doing shit first, that's what the punchline is. That's why a lot of these producer niggas owe me a lot of motherfucking uh, praise. Because <laughs> nigga, I was doing this shit way before you niggas. And not just in terms of age, because these niggas be older than me. I'm talking about really in the buildings, selling artists, getting M's, figuring out how to do this, that, and the third, getting bags off of projects and understanding. Like, them niggas wasn't really figuring out how to work the system. Like, I I went from selling artists to getting my own label deal as an artist to doing publishing deals to signing other writers and producers. Niggas didn't, that's a lot of business. And it, a lot of them niggas learn that shit from me, but they not going to admit that shit. You know how that go. But anyway, trendsetters, nigga. Yeah, he a trendsetter. Niggas who do shit first. What y'all niggas was doing in Diddy Party together? Who you talking about? Nigga, the party was booming. What y'all niggas was doing? Oh my God. <laughs> nah, the party was nigga, unbelievable. Nigga, Everybody nigga, was What y'all was let doing? Me, let me tell you this. I was there with my girl. 60% of the my industry mama. was in that party. 80%. That shit was That booming. shit was crazy. Why Everybody. y'all wasn't at Michael Rubin's house? Who? Oh, I ain't go, no, I ain't yeah, go there. Rubin. That was Mark in New York. It wasn't was Mike, Mark Rubin. Rubin. Mike Rubin. It was, Mike. It was in, yeah. a, it was in yeah. a, New, New York, York, right? New York. New York. I wasn't going out there. Did y'all get invited? I ain't get no, That ain't my homie. We not, you know, we go to I'm Diddy. That's my nigga. I just pull up. Oh, we cooking. Let's get it. You know what I mean? He doing the album. Cool. Let's get it. Like shit like that. Niggas who make hits, I'm usually cool with. You ain't made no hits. I don't really be. So he in there with Jazzy right now doing that uh, his R the whole R and B thing. Shout too. out to Jazzy. Me and Jazzy just Jazzie did the man. Mary J Blige album. Shout out to Jazzy man. Me and Jazzy just did killer. the Mary J album. Yeah. It's yeah, Jazzy a beast. That's yeah. my motherfucker. I've been knowing Jazzy forever. That's my Real motherfucking beast. nigga. And me and her just did the Mary J album. Like I'm, I it's, it never stops. Whoever you name, I probably did some type how, of project. How cold on. is she in there? Who uh, Jazzy? Jazzy? Animalistic. Jazzy's crazy. Yeah. Jazzy an animal, bro. She really a jump in the booth and get to tripping. Like, no problem, though. And she, because you know, like, she like us. She like, I'm finna bag that bitch and do the same shit. So <laughs> she, so she really talking like us on some fly shit, but from got is a girl, so know what she want to hear. It's hard. Jazzy hard. She always been dope. Before she even had a placement, that was my nigga. I asked her ass to come up here and do an interview with me. She told me no. Oh, for real? <laughs> nah, she <laughs> Jazzy. Up. Ah, Jazzy told I'm me no. Up, but nigga. she was like, you know what? I, I got to have I'm some shit up. out. I got to do some shit. Then, you know, got to make some sense. But other than that, though, I met her at um, Ali House, mixed by Ali House. Okay, she was like, damn. Ali, man. Ali. Uh, damn. I, I love you and your girl, blah, blah, blah. And I was, yeah. you know, I was showing love. Why I'm you like, and acting, her ain't got a show? I was acting, you know, acting like I do it. need a show, right? You well, your girl need a show too. Yeah, for to, sure. It'll come yeah, in due time yeah, for yeah. sure. That's oh, a God. mandatory situation, especially yep. as ridiculous as you are. <laughs> They've been telling, they telling me and Angel we need to show extra fast. So they, we, that might be Y'all coming next. It? it might be Rockstars Angels popping up next. Damn, but we, I don't know. I'm we going to come here and do it with there. y'all. Yeah, you might have to pull up. That might yeah. be a vibe. Yeah, we're going to come do it with y'all. Okay, let's get it. Y'all should have beef on the show. Heather Sanders. Yeah, I should have beef on the show. We can argue all day. Fire. Yeah, go. let's go crazy. Let's do it. I love it. Yeah. That's hard. Hey, but but nah, um, what the fuck was we saying? We were saying some shit. I was, that was talking important. about Jazzy and where I met oh, yeah, her. Oh yeah, she hard. But yeah, but uh, but yeah, <laughs> we was talking about something before that though. But niggas got ADD, and not this one. Boy. Hey, what did they say if you had ADD? I think I got it. For I, sure. I, I literally googled that shit yesterday though. Like, but they I was like, son, AD got ADD. I was like, ah, too many D's. Pause. Like, I don't know, because I was saying, I was saying that like. A lot of adults, like, you know what I'm saying? Now they got all type of diagnosis for all type of shit. Like, I think yeah. a lot of adults have problems, but you know what I'm saying? We didn't know about the shit until now. So I'd be yeah. like, my girl was like, you just be busting out into songs all the time. You feel me? Just random songs. I'm like, so you got some t- sort of Tourette's or something? I'm like, I don't know. I just start Googling shit. Yeah, shit like that. I just start singing songs, bro. Like, just, just start rapping out of nowhere. Like random shit. Just random shit. It could be fucking, I don't know. I don't know, bro. Look, don't be laughing. I don't know, bro. But you be singing good out of nowhere. Just all type of shit. Like what? Of that, sure. Like right now, bro. I'll probably. <laughs> bro, I can't, so in your I head can't while we were talking, it. you were singing. Get, bro, we do that all day, bro. So you been over here singing in your mind next Not to just me, singing. It could be singing. It could be rapping. Yeah. I'm thinking about random songs. I be blurting that shit out. Bro, you were singing a Chris Breezy song. I think this nigga different. <laughs> this nigga is unbelievable. I don't know. You don't My think, catalog like, you got, is you don't think like y'all got something that's like, ah, maybe this is something like diagnosed. I ain't have. You feel me? Yeah, bro. That one time, remember when I first came on the show, Adam told me to be quiet. Cause I was singing while we sang the song. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so you got it too. That's ridiculous. But I googled that shit. I was like, I'll be, <laughs> I said I'll be bursting out in the song random times. Like, what does this mean? <laughs> man, I really hope that nigga Adam win that shit in poker, man. Cause like, you know what I'm saying? I'm he, ain't gonna, he ain't gonna give you no more I'm money. I'm pressing for a gift. <laughs>
I word. pressed the boy again in the group chat. I ain't gonna lie. So I said Rolex is for everybody. Oh, he playing? Pokemon? Adam ain't gonna buy nobody shit. Hell no, no. His computer just went down. Ain't what you about to say that? All the money going to the computer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that nigga Three, bullshit. Three hundred and seventy-five thousand. Gambling 000. is a motherfucker. Oh, gambling is a motherfucker, <laughs> man. Gambling you had a gambling problem? What? Psh, man, I used to have a gambling problem. Going viral. Fuck you got a gambling problem? No, I not right soon. now. But I'm saying back in the day, nigga, I used to be at the. Where you was at? Nigga, everywhere, bro. Cosmo, nigga. Oh, no, nigga. Oh, I, I, went the, the nice I went to Vegas, crap oh, tables, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Bro, I done left hey, that motherfucker like, heartbroken, bro. Wow, what was the most you've ever wasted right after getting the check? The check. <laughs> the Damn. whole check. How much was the check? Shit, I done got so many checks, my nigga. And I done But give me one of the so ones that you. Bread. It was, okay. it's, it's just like a routine. Like, get a million, blow a million, get two million, blow a million, and keep one million. For, okay, okay. Off and what's the stupidest shit you wasted a million dollars on? Ah, uh, shit. Honestly, I paid for my first Rolls Royce cash. That was dumb as fuck. The dumbest shit Dumbest ever. shit I ever did in my stupid ass life. I sat there, <laughs> nigga, uh, for real. I walked in and gave a nigga 300 and it was a nigga named Mike. Uh, actually, the Watson brothers who be with uh, Floyd, Floyd, them mm -hmm. niggas brought me to this nigga Mike. I came, cashed him out, gave him 300 something thousand. Stupidest shit you ever did? I just feel like that's so stupid to cash out when I, all I had to do was get them niggas 10% of it. Yeah, and, and, and pay monthly and, and built my credit. Until I feel like I didn't I, get nothing yeah. on the credit from it. My credit did nothing, and I just wasted three hundred thousand dollars. Uh, no, nah, I totaled the car. That was even dumb. <laughs> Damn, you totaled the car on what? What you doing? Uh, on the Malibu. Man, so bro, you look crazy breezy. No, this nigga hit breezy. You got an obsession. It's unbelievable. Like going around the corner, nigga. I was going around the corner in Malibu, coming around that bend, and I and a nigga just teat like just hit the side of the car and just. It was I almost went over the side of the shit. Total my shit, yep. And I just had bought it like. Bro, you twerking again. Before. No, I'm not, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> I swear. We're gonna rewind this shit back. We're gonna see that shit. Oh my god. Put the, yo, that's my put tick, the time that's my tick. On, bro. That's my tick, bro. I like to move my legs. It's like, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're screaming though. <laughs> oh my god. No, I know he got I don't know what you're saying. Are you thinking of songs when you're doing that? No, I'm just it's, it's a tick for I always move my leg. No cap. Oh uh, God. Back back to it, Malibu. Yeah yeah yeah. I, just, I ain't looking you know, at this I just, nigga no I wasted more. money. I just wasted money. Don't waste money on shit like that. Don't do. I could have gave him thirty thousand and got off the lot and been paying two thousand, three thousand a month for, you know what I mean? Whatever and just yeah, sixty months or whatever's going on. What's your advice to a you know new producer coming in the game? Uh, yeah, new producer. I feel like a new producer. Yeah, just which part you got to come in and you got to have a strategy bro you just can't come in the game you got to come in and know what you're doing know how you're doing it have your team together who's your manager who's your squad who's your like everybody got to be delegated how many friends is you bringing in with you you know what i'm saying how many of them are going to turn into envious ass niggas in five minutes mm. you know, what's the situation like is that going to end up working out for you or not working out for you do you, you got people around you that want to see you win or should you do a dolo it's a lot of shit going on with the producers you know what i'm saying so I mean, I would tell a nigga, have a strategy. You know what I mean? Find somebody that has been there, done that, and figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I didn't have enough big homies in the game in terms of just like just producers and writers around me. Like everybody was in competition with me. Nigga, you grew up me. around nothing but legends. No, I know, but it, they were they didn't, they didn't embrace you, right? They yeah, artists. They're bigger, they're artists, bigger producers. Though. Yeah, I mean, it's just they they was always niggas like me. It's like they either want to control you or just you the you the ops. So I was mm. gonna choose being an op off the rip, nigga. I'm real. What's happening? So we uh, all right, cool. Then I see you on the charts, nigga. We we'll figure it out. For the guy, why did you know that he made it? Like you were like, damn, I made it. Uh. You know what? You never really feel like you make it, no matter how many gram, no matter how many Grammys you nominated for, how many records you sell, how many uh, like cribs you buy. I don't feel like you ever really feel like you made it because, I you, like you can't recreate hunger, and that shit just is nonstop for me. Like I never feel like I always feel like I got more somebody else to beat or something else to do. But when I felt when I knew I was famous or knew niggas knew who I was was when I got on TV. When I'm walking through the airport and it's, oh, let me get a picture. Rock, oh, da, da, da. And they know my whole, like, from watching me on seasons of Love and Hip Hop or watching me on back. Like, that's a different situation. That's like when people want to take pictures with you and talk to you about So you're saying doing Love and Hip Hop was a plus? 
Absolutely, hell yeah, Love Hip Hop was a. It actually worked out for me. I, it worked out for Cardi B. It worked out for. It works out for certain people. It don't work out for everybody because niggas don't know how to capitalize. Was niggas asking you for more work? You know what I'm saying after that? Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't more about the work. It was just, I already had the same amount of work. It was more about the face value, other opportunities, tech companies showing up, crypto companies showing up. This, you know what I'm saying? Like different. I made a million dollars in crypto in one day off one situation, off being on TV. It's just people want to tag team with people. People who are a brand, who are noticeable, who are a face, you know what I'm saying, a personality that they could put a brand behind. And so that's the thing, like crossing over into that. That's why Timberland became an artist. He needed to get into the front. Pharrell became an artist. He needed to get into the front. Kanye was tired of being in the background. Ain't nobody give a fuck about him. They just have him in the back of the studio. The nigga dropped the album, came to the front. So you know I'm going to drop an album. Yeah, that's unbelievable. It. Oh, so you dropping an album. Called 10,000 Hours. It's unbelievable. That shit gonna hit the charts? Nigga, what you mean? <laughs> what you think it's not? I never put nothing out that, that didn't hit the charts, hit nigga. The oh, charts, that shit gonna hit. Nigga. nigga, listen, bro. All I do is yeah. make hits. Imagine my own shit that I got tucked. You it's seen unbelievable. it? Uh, mostly rap. Yeah, mostly Mostly both. rap? Yeah, mostly. mostly. I told you that's where I came from. The pit. Battle rapping. The being up under. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was watching. Matter of fact, you know, so off the subject. Well, on the subject too. I was just on uh, watching some community clip shit, mm. and then I then I I hit uh, it was some little shit I was watching. I went back to No Jumper, and then I was watching the Battle Rap, the podcast, and I'm looking at God Disaster. Tier. Yeah, God Tier. Disaster, disaster. That's my nigga. Disaster, I used to bat. Me and Disaster used to battle with the pit. Me and what, that what, nigga used to sit. What's, what's his other co-host co name? Lush 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 Lush. Lush, 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 Lush. No, sorry, Shout Lush. out to Disaster. That's Lush. my so nigga, nigga, nigga. I'm looking at Lush. I'm like, let me go see what, if Lush was really a rapper. Nah, he really didn't are. look like he was a rapper because I was sitting down. I'm like, oh, this nigga was doing his thing. All right, yeah. cool. I didn't know who the fuck Disaster. None of these niggas was. I just showed respect. I'm like, they battle rappers. I don't know. Yeah. So I go, look, nigga, I was on YouTube, nigga. I'm talking about for four hours last night. I'm looking mm -hmm. at Disaster and I'm looking at this shit. I'm looking at what he's done. What he I'm like, first of all, that nigga was a whole white boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that nah. nigga was. Like oh, so whole he was always crazy face, though, going crazy. Yeah, I'm he like, was always a nutcase. Yeah, though. yeah, I'm like, yeah, he's yeah, 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 he he soccer a, shit going yeah, he crazy. Was, he's I'm not, like, he's not a butt. He's bro, 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 like I got I respect for that nigga battles, after that bro, shit. He was battling the midget, bro. I'm oh, a bad little person. That's unbelievable. What? How did he get to disaster? Bro, it was, it was terrible, bro. He was battling this bitch named Official. Sorry, this girl named Official, and she was going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like. Bro was going crazy, yeah, man. I, I got respect for that nigga after nah, that shit, bro. Hard. I was battling with Daylight. That battling with they like they like they like that's crazy. They like killed me. Looking at all that, yeah. Yeah, but that's, that's just my last hard. day battle rapping. Rapping with Daylight. Forget oh, that. I him. I battled he Daylight. Me. I battled Daylight <laughs> and AV. <laughs> I battled Daylight and AV. AV used to be in the pit too. Yeah, I battled Daylight. Well, Compton AV. Compton AV. He's a battle rap. I battled Compton AV and Daylight uh, in a two on two. My nigga Doughboy, rest in peace. I, I battled uh, uh, yeah, uh, Active. My nigga Active. Shout out to Active. That's my nigga. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, that nigga. Uh, I battled a lot of niggas when I was going viral. Me and Disaster used to sit there and just bar shit out in the car, nigga, all all the time on the hill, just bar shit out, like nigga. And then I seen a nigga with Math Hoffa, but. On, I'm always looking at Mav Hoffa shit, not knowing he a battle rapper. That he was a battle rapper. He Bro, was battle hard. rapping with disaster. I'm looking Man. at this shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I just be looking at YouTube, not even knowing what the fuck going on. Yeah, I just wow. like looking at content. Serious you know what I'm saying? Jones, the all these niggas, Serious Jones. Like that's crazy, yeah, bro. A lot of niggas, but you know the problem with Murder niggas, Mook? you can't. They don't know. Like 99.999 percent of battle rappers don't know how to cross over into being artists. Yeah. And I wonder why. Tell me what you I know what you why. think. Bro, it's well, the it's because they you right, bro. Yeah, you write that's down the bar. You ain't you ain't listening to melodies. For you, for You're not for doing nothing. You just thinking of a punchline and punchline and punchline and punchline. But yeah. be a beat come Cassidy on. made it. Yeah. Yeah, Cassidy's a beast though. Cassidy that's the made thing. It. Cassidy, uh, do you know why? What happened? Grind like I'm a hustler. All that shit. That's Pharrell and that's niggas around him. That's Swiss just beats. Swiss beats and just, that's niggas who was knowing how you have to have a nigga like me who knows how to craft a record around a nigga. You could give me a rec an artist that really ain't whatever the fuck, and I'ma take that nigga and make him cross over off the rip because I'm going straight to the shit that's in the top four. I know how to hear it and get there. Them niggas knew how to hear it and get there. They wasn't looking at him as a battle rapper. They were just looking at him as an artist that showed up and they was gonna make sure that he got out of there with a hit. That's when you know a producer's about that action. And Freeway, while we talking too. He was a battle rapper too, right? Beanie Siegel, Beanie. I think too, right? Beanie was crazy. Beanie my nigga, that's my, Beanie's the one that brought me to Ye. He's the one that put me in a session for Donda. 
Beanie, my nigga, shout out to Beanie Siegel. That's my was in that. He nigga. put you in a session with Donda? He's the one that put me in the Donda session, yeah. Wow. Beans told Ye, like, I got this young nigga rock star. He's probably the hardest producer I ever ran into in my life. This nigga's unbelievable. And this nigga, da 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 da. He was like, oh, okay, I didn't even bring him in. I came through press plays. Give me the files. Give me the files. Let me get it there. I fuck with Ye. So off, off that, that's how we got introduced. Beanie Siegel. Beanie Siegel introduced me to Ye. That's my nigga. Shout Is out to Is the relationship Beans. still there, man? Yeah, of course. How was it just in the studio with Ye before I asked that? You know, he's into genius shit like me. He's just. At that point in time, he was mainly focused on his kids. And he was kept break, taking breaks of the music to talk about what was happening with his kids. But yeah, he's I, he, he's solid, man. He's a genius, bro. That's just what it is. I respect geniuses. Niggas that's about that action and just on another level of thinking in, in whatever you do, I respect you. So yeah, he's one of them niggas that I rock with like that, yeah. So he was in the studio. He cooking up. He doing his shit. He to go back to his kids. He coming back here. You feel me? Like what genius level thing did he do that just sparked you? Like God. I damn. mean, more and more. He he really honestly goes records in his own bubble. It's like we not sitting there. We're just creating whatever the fuck. He's taking bits and pieces. Like. And going and doing his own thing in his own time. It ain't like we sitting there and we just, he'll find something, but like, oh, that damn, da, da, da. like he's sitting there telling ATLJ different things, like put the drum on this, put the this and this. Like he's directing traffic. He's not like somebody that's just like, give me this. And he might do that a couple times, but he's really like taking bits and pieces from things and putting it into his own gumbo. Like that's what he into. Cause he's a producer. So, you know, a producer giving a producer something is a little bit different. Like, you know what I mean? You're gonna put your own whole spin on it. So, yeah. What's the sickest session you ever been in? Uh, probably Fine China, to be honest. Me, mm. uh, Seven Streeter, Eric Bellinger, uh, Chris Brown. Shout out to yeah, that did, we was just all in that motherfucker. It was just a, it was shit was magical, nigga. I don't know. That shit was just unbelievable. I got a video of that too. I should have. That shit's unbelievable. And we just sat there and just created that motherfucker, man. And I was creating that bitch from scratch, just the baseline, and this and this. And then by the time it was done that night, the whole fucking room, the A and R's, the exact everybody was jumping up and down. We knew that motherfucker was a smash off the rip that night. That night, hell yeah. Uh, you see us in the video jumping around, everybody smash. I ain't gonna lie, cause that's how I felt when I heard him record Deuces. I'm like, God Deuces. damn, man. Oh, so you was there when he recorded that? Yeah, I was there. It's yeah, classic. K Max is a genius too. I ain't gonna lie. K Max yeah. used to get cracking. K Max is a beast. What man, bro, I was to a my boy. The, he did get cracking when he was getting cracking. What that nigga yeah, that was, was getting like, cracking. That's my nigga though. That nigga's really a genius, bro. I just feel like, pfft. yeah, you know, it just it be the system, man. Niggas get caught up in the system, and it be hard to cross over and getting out the get shirt and shit and. Niggas, you, I don't know, man, but the, j talented wise, he's a genius. Like, all the rest of the shit, I don't know nothing about. But he's a good nigga, but he's just a genius. Like, I, I, I will always vouch for that nigga's genius. Like, he's really, really, really good at music. That's why Deuces came out and shit like that. A nigga's a beast. Nah, he wrote all that shit. It was yeah. hard. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, he's, a, he's, yeah. Now, but, you know, shit. I think he locked up, though. He is? I think he in the county. So, you, you, still, you still fucking R. Kelly music, even though he locked up? I never really was into R. Kelly's music. I'm not that type of nigga, bro. I really was listening to, like, I never was the nigga listening to shit like that. Yeah. You're real crazy. This nigga out of pocket. I know you. I, I, I know you be doing all kind of shit to R. Kelly shit. I'm not. He said he wasn't that type of nigga to I listen mean, R. to R. Kelly. Kelly music. Like, what the nigga, fuck, what? nigga? Y'all niggas acting like R. Like everybody and their mama and uncle and grandma. I wasn't bumping R. Kelly. I wasn't though. That wasn't so my shit. So what was you shit. bumping? What was you? What not was you that nigga. I wasn't bumping that. <laughs> Oh my mama, I was more in the, I was probably the oh only like God. black nigga in the hood really in the rock shit and other shit niggas wasn't listening to uh, Nirvana and you know what I'm so, saying Sting. So, so, so you're like, like fan that. of the Smiths and the Doors and shit like that? Yeah, the Doors hard. Oh, hard. Doors. I, think I fuck with everybody from from Slipknot all the way down to Metallica. To Era. I'm in the every. My name is Rockstar, brother. So clearly I'm into multiple genres. You got to be a like I study the craft like. Kurt Cobain, one of the biggest motherfuckers that ever lived, that's Nirvana. You gotta study the craft, understand what smells like teen spirit. You know what I mean? Even sounds like, niggas don't even know what that shit is. I fuck with all that shit, so. Fuck, you know, System of a Down, all Fire. that shit. That's my shit. Fuck, what do you think is your biggest song ever? Who's the biggest sound ever? I mean, the new song, shit. Go, song. To, go to the Breezy album, the new shit. To be honest, the things that I've done is trump the songs that I've done. Like when I did 50 Shades of Grey, like it's box office tix, ticket sale. You know what I'm saying? That's different. That, that, so it's fucked up sure, with me right. when people ask me about songs because I did Fifty Shades of Grey. It's no, one yeah, of the biggest crazy. movies yeah. ever. So it's like you're talking about being a composer on something like that. That type of bag is different. Like I'm getting five hundred thousand up front a sync and license. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just a different conversation. Like, so yeah. Tell but, them how many of these you made. 
I did six of them. Six of them. Name them. Till the wheels fall off with Dirk Capella. Um, call me every day with Wiz Kid. Addicted with little baby. Um, need you right here with Bryson. Yeah, go down. Uh, survive the night. Where's that at? Go down. Survive the night and go down. Luckiest man. Yep. What all did you do on those records? Um, just you know, produced and wrote them. Help cultivate them. CB was writing on joints with me, like that's my bro. So we'll go play ball at the crib, and then niggas that go like he got a full studio in there. So we'll go in there, we'll cook. So just producing broke with the nigga on shit. You know, I'm the producer, but we write together. Fuck, have you worked with Blast yet from LA? Nah, I ain't working with Blast yet. He hard though. He hard as fuck. He's hard. I give props for niggas. It's hard. Blast is hard. Certain niggas is dope. Nigga, we'll wrap it up like that, man. Yeah, this my yeah, nigga. No, hold on, we ain't wrapping shit up because uh, you know what I'm saying. I ain't, I ain't got shit to say, but we gonna shout out a whole bunch of shit. You got oh, your go album ahead. coming out. Yeah, yeah, hell you yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you yeah. wrote so, on shit with Chris Brown, nigga. What yeah. it do, man? Listen, 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 listen. We got an app coming out called Tipper, right? Mm. Yeah. So I've been, I've been building that for like the last two, two years, and um, it's coming out of beta. It'll be in the app store in the next two weeks. Tipper is dope. So a social media platform where you wait. What's it about where, though? Basically, it's where. Now you can post a picture and it NFT automatically, right? Your picture's NFT, so you're able to make, like, instead of having a million fans and 300,000 likes and no money, you can now get your shit NFT'd and they can leave tips and everything on your pictures and all that. So I got that, it's called Tipper. And you can also go live and set a price. You know what I'm saying? So me and you could go live and we could say 20 bucks to get in the room, whatever, da da da. So it's That's just, hard. you're not giving out free content, but it's called Tipper. I've been building that for the last two years. We got the SGH and, um, Topanga Mall, Century City Mall. We got, um, we have uh, so much shit. The Breezy album dropping that motherfucker, then going to the moon. My album dropping ten thousand hours. Don't don't forget about that. But this album right here, y'all got to pay attention to because I'm hearing dumbass shit, and it's like <laughs> I don't know Flag what the fuck niggas is talking about. That Wiz Kid record so unbelievable. Niggas need to press play. I don't know what the fuck niggas is talking about. So anyway, the the uh, uh, we also got a. Uh, I got so much shit going on. Shout out to my girl Angel brings her fashion through the roof. We going, we got uh, fashion week coming up in New York. We just going, man. We just, we really just came to win. All we do is so, just win. Do you my trucking company. Yeah, 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 Rock Age Records. Yeah. But who you guys signing? Like, give a shout out to some of the artists signing. Well, look, that's Infrared right there. We got Red dropping. That's probably the only rapper I like. Oh, I don't even like other rappers. <laughs> Everybody else is regular. It's a couple, of, but besides that, all the artists I got. Kifa, he's a Brazilian artist, so Fire. he's at, his shit is in Portuguese. And see, I'm I'm overseas. I'm I go over there. I got, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not really like, I ain't been pushing label shit, mainly producing. I only got two artists on the label, Red and him, and then myself, my album dropping. You know what I'm saying? But Maje, we putting his shit together too. Maje over there in the cut, he's a beast. We putting the cut, it's niggas around me, I'm cultivating, nigga. So we going ham and cheese. Everybody around me, if you see them with me, know they're a genius and know they probably somewhere on the charts. Hey, Riley, did, uh, did Josh give you that uh, picture? That I wanted to put up, I gave it to him. I texted to him. I what you wanted got? Him, I wanted him to put up. Just shout out uh, Sorella. What we doing on Sunday? So Sorella. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. And then oh, you know I'm gonna give you the shout. My out. nigga Tiny Cuz is coming on the Twitch 9 p.m. Y'all tune into that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Duno, you don't do Twitch no more? No, yeah, no, yeah. I'm just setting up to my new spot. I'm still setting uh, up my new spot. Oh yeah. Congratulations on your new spot, spot too, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all yeah. niggas making boss moves. I'm into all that. I love it. Okay, picture up. Yeah, man. It's a lot sale, man. Y'all come through on Sunday, man. Sorella, man. Come through and hang. Shout out to Sorella over there, man. 12 to 5. Don't worry about nothing. Let's go. So, Sorella.com, too, man. You signing autographs? Yeah, I'm going to sign some autographs. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Be out there and take some pictures. Okay. No, I'm bullshit. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Community clips SGH. up there. Oh, we're going to go ahead. Go ahead and do that. It was community SGH clips. Apparel.com. Community clips. Fuck you, nigga. Yeah, community God. clips. Yeah, YouTube. Let's go. Yeah, I'm God. Let's we go. out, man. We out. Yeah, we gone. Sir.